Hey guys. Yo. Oh, we should we should change it back to this, right? Uh, yeah, that's a default view, lah. Oh, oh, this one too big. Too big, too okay. big. Then you can't see that one. Oh, nice background, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got back from Singapore. <clears throat> oh, I see you're really gung ho, lah. Like, sorry, I couldn't come. Hey, Sad. no problem. Uh, hmm. but you had a good driver. I saw pictures. Yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 I basically had some. Uh, there's some. Um, uh, uh, how to say a uh, Porsche group group subgroup call me Tana join us it's okay lah I went uh, you know, so uh, now elite ready only join Porsche people no no lah people I don't know I, I go there I'm the I'm the most simplest Porsche there lah you know but uh, <laughs> I make sure I make sure they remember my Porsche <laughs> on every curve <laughs> yesterday the drive back I took eight hours eh well, uh, I, 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 you know, if I give an option to uh, to pick, you know, like my wife and I used to do is think why we go up to the high, uh, Nosa Highway and we mm. say go north or go south. My heart always say go north <laughs> because going south to JB is just this long stretch and uh, yeah. yeah, it's 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 hard. You know? But you know, you know what's interesting, you know, when we go north, right? Mm. So we start driving north almost around. Ipo there, we will start uh, experiencing a higher percentage of road hoggers who, who don't move as you approach from behind. Yeah, and then yeah, you look yeah. at the number plate. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I mean, this round driving down south, right, I, I really noticed that um, I don't experience this as much, you know? Like you come from far, the car, the car in front will, will immediately move. Straight so, road all the way. What do you expect? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, our 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 Penang friends are unique in that sense. Mm. <laughs> but but also like in the defense of not like I'm also from North, uh, the defense uh. of people of North uh, is that there's a lot more bottlenecks going up North. Like you go la construction la one lane la single lane no like yeah. two lanes four lanes yeah so it's a, not really. This thing, uh, but yeah, you guys have a fantastic Ooh. drive. We have for uh, Hasbulla here. Hasbulla join you guys from KL to, to JB. Yeah, man. Mm, mm, uh, mm. Hasbulla came all the way from JB to KL to mm. join us drive down to JB, and then after that, he drove back up to KL, did a talk mm. uh, with Adrian Mark together, mm, mm. and then back to JB again. Baller, man. Epic, epic, epic. Gary Yang asked a question here. What do we do with the photo frame we got from Southern Sea Drive? Kind of question. Hey, <laughs> take a picture. Nah. And then tag us with a hashtag. And then say you want picture of your car. And then we will develop mm. the photo and mail it over for you so you can slot it mm. into your photo frame. You just go and really? take you. <laughs> you didn't hear <laughs> our briefing. You, said every, you saw everybody take frame. You also take, right? Got some. <laughs> So, so yeah, it was one of our activities la, because mm. uh, uh, we partnered with Eco World and then Eco World, because when you have like 100 cars, and you don't need 100, la, when you have like 20, 30 cars, right? Because it's a drive plus meet, right? We, park, we, we need place to park together, Correct. to chit chat and all that. And, and there aren't that many public places where you can actually park so many cars. And then spend time there, take photo and all that. And, and we're so glad that Eco World, they have three townships in, in Johor. Uh, Eco Botanic, which is like 15 minutes from the second link. Uh, and then there's uh, Eco Tropics, which is near Pasir, Pasir Gudang there. And then another one in uh, Mount Austin. So so it's so convenient that that their, their, their townships are like, you know, like, like a triangle around the whole oh. southern Johor. So, so we can meet at this place and then we drive and then we meet at that place and then we drive then we meet at that place. So it's so convenient that they provide all the space for us to do our grouping and they were also very nice to to treat us, uh, prepare lunch for us, prepare dinner for us, prepare breakfast for us. So that's why we came, when we think of activities, right, we try to integrate the activities with their show house. So we bring some value to them as well. Mm -hmm. So we put empty photo frames into show houses so that we mm -hmm. tell we tell our participants that if you want a photo of your car during that drive, 
right? We will develop the photo for you. Then you can go into those show house and look for empty frames. So when you pick up the empty frame, you take a picture and then you tag us with the official hashtag. And then uh, once once we come back, we will look through all those and then we found yours, then we will mail the picture to you so you can put it in nicely. Uh. Mm. So these are the kind of activities that we design to also benefit uh, uh, the developers who partners, partner with, with us. Uh. So can you give me, and, can you give me a minute, uh, let me go get my frame. I, I, I'm very proud of the one I got from earlier one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, so um, really thank you so much to to all of uh, th those who drive down from Penang, join us in KL, and then went all the way to JB, and then the Singaporeans who came up to to JB and join us. Uh, it's, it's, it's really nice. Um, and then, uh, of course, we drive around. And, and, and one thing that I felt really, really blessed is um, the, oh, yeah, that's yours. Yeah. I love this, was, I love this. one of my best photo of the car. La. So nice. Right. It's, it's, it's so nice. Right? It's so different to post something physical now in this digital age, right? You can get yeah, something right. like that from so, driving yeah. out. It's right? nice, guys. You have your cars. So, I wish all my cars got photo frame. <laughs> And, uh, and and I was saying that, you know, right before the start of this event, right, we heard news that it's going to be pouring crazy, like it's going to rain like mad. So on Saturday, as we were, uh, on Friday, as we were driving down Johor, right, oh, it's like, okay, the sun is, the sky is gloomy, and then it rained, drizzle, rain, drizzle, rain. The whole day, it was just raining. And then I was so, I was like, shit, if Saturday was like this the whole day, right, you cannot do anything already. And then Saturday, whole day, it was bright and sunny. It was hot and bright and sunny. The roads are dry. And we did our activities. We enjoyed. Only until the last part. Until the very last one, where we're supposed to drive all our cars in, in like a road train like that. And in one row, going in to take photo drone and all that, right? The, the rain just poured. It, it, it cannot hold any longer. You know, the time was like 6 p.m. <laughs> and then it just fall. And uh, we crashed one of our drones. And uh, it, it's, it's a serious crash. So it's a it's, it's a gone gone case. That was our new drone. <laughs> it's a gone case. Yeah, can yeah, yeah. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Uh, this one cannot. This one, the, the, the gimbal. I don't know. Maybe can. I don't know. But, can, can. But, I, I, I've got a guy. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No, it way. broke, like, it, like, but I believe DJI designed it to be, to be yeah. interchangeable, right? All the modules, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Then uh, on Sunday, uh, Sunday we actually uh, uh, drove into Singapore, but very few of us only, like, We went into Singapore, and and the Singapore Evo Club guys hosted us, and I was so blessed that um, because Singapore the vending machine car dealer yep the tower yeah 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 the tower and, uh the owner uh his name is gary um he also joined joined us he, woke up, he, he joined us Genting drive before so uh how, how do i uh, let me share i share uh, uh how do i share screen okay share share screen and a window yes okay yeah so this is this is real this is uh abm i mean they went viral a few years ago when they built this mm. and um yeah he joined us and then we went to his uh, tower uh he actually loaded my car up i was i was sitting in my car you know so so it was such an amazing experience by the time we were running, kind of running short of short on time already, lah. So that's the you see during so, uh. So, so what is actually, Bobby? This is like a dealership, isn't it? So it, the story is like this: uh, he wanted to build his dealership, but then the plot of land is too small, and uh, he was like having having trouble trying to think like because his contractor is like you you buy up your neighbor lah, then you can build like a, like a dealer like this 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 many cars then he was he was with his son uh at, at, at 
a toy store and then his son was like looking at uh tomikas and all that and then and then he, he saw those those toy cars stack up like that right then he was struck an idea la. so he was like okay this is how i'm gonna build it he told his uh contractor a contractor like you crazy uh. but eventually they they did it these two towers like that right this small plot of land can you see this the, the car down there you see oh that's how big the land is you know it's actually quite small hmm. but he holds 60 cars mm, 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 mm. so it's 15 story each story each each row can put like four cars out so uh and he designed a system like a like a like a ui interface right like a vending machine so when you go there for test drive right you're looking through the vending machine like like, like the touch screen like that right he said oh yeah i want to I want to test drive this one and then the, the machine the conveyor will bring the car down and and you know what's amazing when when he was doing it right uh we we were shocked how fast the thing moves you know when it comes down right it comes down like this one like that it's not like uh, no it's not it's like it surprised you and the way it comes down like that and then it was quiet absolute quiet and then my my first my, the first thing that popped up my mind is I, and then i asked him wow this this whole system is so quiet is it from germany then he was like yeah that's interesting he said they, when they were looking around right uh the systems from japan and korea were too noisy and, and then they found this company in china yeah. <laughs> so the, it, it was like absolute quiet the the, the 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 system anyway it was it was such such a, a humbling experience that like, look at this tower and all that and then after that he built another one he built another tower uh near the city center and this tower was used by sony playstation to do the global launch for the gran turismo 7 game epic way right? you see this tower right it's only 10 story mm. 10 story uh, 10 cars up uh. But taller than that, lah. But the plot of land, right, that that, that is set on, right, is one thousand four hundred square feet. <laughs> like a house. So small that piece of land. Yeah. Then I asked him, "My God, what about your piling?" Yeah, 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 yeah. They want. Hey, eh, how can they want play? They want to play one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn impressive. Eh? When they come down, it's like absolute silent one. You know, when it comes down. Wow! Look at the screen behind. Yes. Yes. We were watching the video of the car and then never we never expected this car to suddenly come down like that, you know. It wowed all of us. We were watching this and then we don't know what will happen next one. We were watching, watching, and then suddenly the car come down. Whoa, epic man. Yeah, 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 like that. It caught me totally by surprise, you know. We were watching that video, you know, we were mesmerized by its beauty, and then suddenly the car just came down in front of us. Whoa, I tell you, everybody's jaw just dropped. And it's mm -hmm. such it's so amazing. Anyway, he was he told me that the the powling right is thirty meter. Wow, <laughs> the foundation yeah is thirty meters because anyway, it's a smaller yeah. footprint. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's me going up there. I mean the car. So I was I was like it's like I'm so amazed that wow the owner of this is is actually you know World Cup member came and joined us whole day and then. Uh, even even drove up to KL and joined for Genting Drive. You know, I'm I'm just so humble. Yeah, yeah. So that was an amazing awesome, experience. Awesome. Uh. And then and then and then the whole group of us were walking on Alexander Road, right? We just like we just oh, the whole group like just suddenly walked into Maserati showroom, and then all of them were looking at us, right? And then we were like, "Where's the MC20?" Uh? <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, like uh, it's, it's downstairs in the basement, but but sorry, we're currently doing a handover, a delivery for customer. Then we look at our customer there, red ribbon all there. Okay, sorry, sorry, we don't catch out. Then that whole group of us go out. <laughs> just walk in. Then I walk into Alpha Romeo, and then it's like, then the guy also stand up. I was like, where's the GTA M? Ah? The uncle, uh, uh, oh, you you book you you book for appointment? Ah? No, 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 no. We came from Malaysia. We just want to see the car. Oh, okay, come, 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 come. Bring us to the back to look at the GTA M. So, I, yeah, it was it was so nice. Uh, we just we just we just walked straight in. Uh, but then, unfortunately, uh, the Bugatti showroom is like, uh, sorry, first of all, the person is not here. Secondly, 
that place is a bonded place. And third, that car belongs to someone. Then I was like, ah, JP Jin leh. Legend ma. No lah. But anyway, we, we, we don't want to trouble them lah. So we just look through the, the, the glass, you know, and all that. Mm. We didn't man- I didn't manage to touch the Bugatti lah. So don't worry, mm. JP Jin, nobody touch your car, you know. But it's, it's there lah, you know. Uh, it was nice. And then as we were walking back to our car, right, we walked past Mimi. And then I saw a lady there. Um, her friends all taking her picture. She was standing next to her Mimi. She's very happy, obviously, quite far away. Then I screamed, congratulations. <laughs> and then they, they, they all look over and then we all clap. It's like, because I think Singaporeans are, are, are most, most Singaporeans won't, 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 do, won't do stuff like that. I like scream across mm. the road. Hey, mm. and then, you know, they, like, us Malaysian, you know, we would do all mm. this kind of <laughs> something stuff. Like, but they, but, but they, 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 they appear happy also. Like. So yeah, it was yeah. it was it was nice. And then morning at Dempsey Hill, uh, wow, you see all the car guys, car girls. You know, it's so amazing. Dempsey Hill is this beautiful right. place with a lot of nice restaurants mm. with alfresco dining facing the road. And then a lot of parking, and it's such a beautiful place that all the cars just park there. And then it's it's very very nice. And then people start turning up, you know, in Harley's, a group of Ferraris. And then what's amazing is that oh, JDM fellas coming. And then one lady in a pink S two thousand driving her car, you know, it wow. And then another lady in her Impreza uh, STI, you know, came in. I, and and it's the GCA da, the old one da. They drove in. It's like wow, a car scene in Singapore is is very much alive. Then one uncle, then funny, you know, drove his Evo. His Evo is like uh like army print, uh, not army. The 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 the, 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 the way he mod it is like it's like Gundam like that. One. Anyway, I was like, hey, you are the the the, the guy, right? Ah, yeah, yeah, this Evo, this Evo. Then he walked down, mm. right? He's like, so wh- where are all the Evos from Malaysia? I said, like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No Evo. I thought Evo Club meeting here. Uh, Evo Club is not that Evo Club. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ay, <yeah. laughs> <he was> like, <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Porsche and all that. It's such a nice place. Then uh, there was this RS6 that turned up. Uh, C7, R- uh, C6 RS6. And uh, as I was looking at his car, then he walked up to me. Hey, Bobby. Then he was like, I, 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 uh, I thought you bring your RS6, you know. Then he said, he, he said, he said the exact thing. He was like, I'm I'm exactly like what you described. I love cars, but none of my friend does. I don't have a group that can go drive and talk and enjoy cars with me. And uh thanks for setting up uh Evo Club SG. So now he's in the group chat, he will have people to talk mm. to and all that. Richard, mm-hmm. young fella. So it's it's very nice, uh, the whole experience. Yeah. And, and and I was amazed so many Singaporeans walk up to me and uh take photo, you know. All that so it's 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 nice lah. So, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's really a nice trip, and uh, you know, Jules, Anthony, they all they all they also joined yeah. Casey, Casey Liu as well. And uh, this Pao, uh, the tall guy on the right side, is so helpful, super, super, duper helpful. And uh, they, they hosted us the whole day, lah. Very nice, lah. Such a nice place, yeah. lah. Basically, Dempsey Hill. I, I definitely want to go back again, you know. Yeah, that's a Renault. That's like a Renault group, you know, with the old R twenty six Gun RS. Uh, it's 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 really nice. Uh, Lexus, GSF, crazy man. I tell you, the cars in Singapore is crazy la. It's crazy. You know how? You just think about how difficult. Oh yeah, I bump into uh, Lionel. He's a he's a motoring media from Singapore. Uh, I mm. went to the Aston Martin PBX trip with him, and then we mm. bump into the, I bump into him there. You know, so so mm. nice. Yeah, so yeah, man, Singapore, nice. I wish KL got such a place, ah, uh, uh, DB11. Uh. Yeah, restaurants there, the food is good and all that. So, yep, that was our Southern Siege drive. And uh, lovely, lovely. All right. So, sorry, guys, sorry for the long chat, but no, we wait for more people to come in. For those, you know, like, for those who can't, can't go, we got a glimpse into it. Um, but yeah. But I wonder how uh, the cars are so expensive, but yet, yet they they over they yes. overcome the cost and they want to really want yes. it. And I guess they go for quality la. I guess it's a um, yes. question yes. of quantity over quality la. So and there's one thing that I I I I 
when I look around Singapore, right, I realize one thing. Mm. When, when you have very, very high education standards, right, your mm. people are highly educated. And all of them who are highly educated would generally have a higher sense of, uh, uh, in terms of the things that they do. So, so an example would be Dempsey Hill, you know, that place, right, is so well designed and so comfortable, so many trees, and so it's just nice, the restaurants, the layout. And then I saw a very old school there that was repurposed into, into a very charming, small uh, furniture shop and all that, you know. It's a school, they knock down the walls, they put glass. You know, schools are very long, right? The staircase mm. on the end, right? So the way they make it, right, it's like, one, one thing I, I appreciate Singapore is that they, they're not like here, you know. Here, right, something new, demolished and built again, right? We keep building yep, yep. new things and then we don't maintain. Yep. Singapore, right, you can see bus stops that are 40 years old. They maintain and maintain and maintain. You know? I, mm. that's, that's something I appreciate. Uh. You know, you save a lot of money by maintaining well, but of course we know, we know what happens in Malaysia, right? They need to give projects. Yeah. To you, you know, one of yeah. my... Um, I, I used to um, be the regional accountant for a company. I used to do a lot yeah. to, 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 to Singapore. And one of my first trips I went there, on the train, there was, a, some, there was, this, there was this signboard. Like. And then um, uh, the, it was a man. You know how you have the picture of the people evolving from a primate to a yeah. person walking upright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then there was this, this, this whole thing, uh, uh, evolution, like a small kid growing up uh, in the army and then... Uh, uh, yeah, like uh, executive, whatever, and yeah. it says, um, "Be a Singaporean, be the best you can be." Yeah, you know? and honestly, uh, at the moment in time, I'm uh, being Malaysian, being Indian, uh, it struck me, and this is like Madika month, you know, that mm. there is a lot of sense of if you are Singaporean, they want you to be the best you can be. Go and study hard, go and work hard, you know. So I I do appreciate Singaporeans for that, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Malaysians hey, have. Malaysians, Malaysians have it very easy. Our life is a very easy life. Yes. Uh, I think in an American way, uh, we take it for granted. And I think uh, Singaporeans do work hard for that. I salute my Singaporean brothers and sisters. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your feelings just ask, what is the difference in speed when clearing immigration on both sides? <laughs> I, I mean, for me, for me, it's, it's quite fast because I'm Malaysian. So Malaysia fast enough to match Singapore's speed in processing a foreign passport. <laughs> so, <laughs> my experience is the same. And, uh, oh, Jerome also was, was, was so nice. As I crossed the border into Singapore, after I crossed the immigration, he parked his Passat wagon by, right at the roadside, you know, wave at me and to guide me. And I was like, oh, yeah, why do I need, need, need his guidance? Then I realized my, my Google Maps doesn't work anymore because apparently, I don't know why the switching switching between mm. roaming and all that, you know, I, I need I need to restart it and all that. <laughs> Lawrence is finally I heard something good about Singapore from Bobby. <laughs> uh, I mean I mean for those of you who, who, who know, I mean half of my family is from Singapore. But for me, of course I I, I love Malaysia for its it's I don't know how to put it it's it, it a bit un, un what do you call it? Unhinged. Yeah we are like, we are, I, I, yeah, I like we are. Yeah, I bit, like. Uh, we are a bit out back, lah. Put this way, lah. A bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bit out back, you know. Compared to like, like you won't see Singaporeans walking across the road, seeing someone collecting cars and screaming across the road. Congratulations! Mm. No, you, you, you won't see that. Mm. No, Singaporeans mm. are more like you know, hey, it's my mm. own space. Like, I don't like, like, do like, like I actually, I actually do that. You see, when I see somebody on, on in a cafe, whatever, who's a bit yeah. down, whatever, I will say, hey, um, you look good today, whatever, and I do that. And my wife will say, like, why yeah. you do that? No, and I will do that. They will smile and they're like, I see, see, I brought a smile to her face. I yeah. do that on a regular basis. Yeah. But I don't dare do it in Singapore. I might, I, I, I fear I might get, get, get someone or whatever. Like you're harassing her, uh, you know. I have the fear a bit. You should look at Singapore, the whole country as, uh, uh. You see, every country, right? When you go to downtown city, mm. like the city, the busiest area, right? Everybody is more isolated, even though it's more jam packed. People are Correct. more into their own, right? So mm. you, you have to look at this country as a mega, mega CBD. 
that's how mm-hmm. you can understand their psyche, uh, I guess. Uh. Correct. But I agree. But to which is own, I think I think we we cannot generalize at that, right? Every, yes, every correct, right. Yeah. I w- yeah. I would love to um I would love I love Singapore like, in a lot, lot, lot of uh, ways. Like. Uh, can we go to questions, Bobby? I think uh, people are waiting for us to answer questions. Yeah, a, a uh, lot of a lot. <laughs> a lot of questions. Tyron uh, Alexis says, should he consider the Super 2.0 Recon, uh, which is the B40 engine from BMW, or wait for the GR86? Interesting, right? Huh? Hmm. I mean, because the price has dropped. For for me, of course, I'll say I'll say you 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 wait for it to come. Then it's it's easier judgment because. Mm-hmm. The Recon mm. Supra, one sold, another one will come in anyway. Right? Correct, correct. There's no, there's no, mm. there's no rush. There's no yeah. rush, right? My, so, yeah, my, my heart leans towards the Jet 8 the new one. Right? It's something new, something exciting, something different. Uh, yeah. You get to be the yeah. first person using it, you know? Why not, bro? It's, it, to me, it's not as easy as a Supra. Right? Uh, Supra, Supra 3.0, yes, 3.0. I, they look the same, don't they? Look the same. <laughs> yeah, look the same. Hey, two liter also not 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 not. Weak. Hey, the B forty engine is very nice, very nice. Yeah, it's apparently someone like... was telling me the two point actually handles better than three point in a lot of ways because it's lighter front end. Oh I yeah, stole, yeah, I was yeah. told. Uh, so so yeah. Okay. okay, we've got uh Terence C here. Hi, Bobby and Tana. Looking to get a pure driving experience car. Interested in the 981 Cayman GT4. Wow. Any feedback? Thank you in advance. It's a beautiful car. 981 hey, Cayman GT4. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Of course, if you want pure, it has to be Lotus. Uh, but then no need to go so hardcore first time. Uh, you have mm, your mm. you have your GT4. You drive, 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 enjoy. Mm. I, I know a lot of Lotus owner tried the GT4 and, and they they go by Lotus. Uh. But that's not to say mm. that GT4 is not good. You know, it, by any measure, it's a... It's a proper sports car by any measure. I got a theory, Robbie, about yeah. uh, Lotus drivers, and I could be wrong. Uh, I know people will hate me. Uh, mm. uh, Lotus drivers and Porsche drivers. Uh, I feel that um, people who do really long hours on a car or the really on track, they're the really hardcore guys. Uh, they mm. come to a point, they mature, they go like, I want Lotus. Because they try everything and they go like, I want Lotus. Yeah, yeah, whereas, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. whereas the Porsche guys, uh, uh, the guys mm. who got one, 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 few few cars and they want to come look at the game. The car is comfortable, it works, it's brilliant to drive, and it, it's easy, you know. Yeah, yeah. the motor side is like you've gone through all this and you're like, This is the purest form of driving. Like, I want this, like, you know, and, and not many people can actually appreciate lotuses uh, until they come to the you, level. You, you're actually very right. I mean, you, you just think about this, right? In our, in our, in our whole car ownership uh, process, right, as we come out mm. and work. Uh, we aspire things, right? Mm. We, we came out, maybe we buy a Proton or a Brodoa and all that, and then we aspire the day comes when we can have a Vios or a Civic. Climb in our uh, progressive car ownership, right? There's always something to aspire to. It's like a, maybe you achieve a certain thing. You felt that achievement. Wow, BMW, you know, you're dreaming for Okay, I'm not sure if you lost Bobby or lost me. I, I, I can't see myself. Am I here? Okay. Am I here? You're, you're, you're now back? Yes, you can see uh, you now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, 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 so, you spoke about so, how, how we aspire to be something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when before you before you buy your Audi, right? You're like, whoa, you see it that way. But after you buy it, you just use it. You 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 lost that feeling of that of that whoa, I mean something amazing. You you just you just use it normally, right? You don't you don't feel that it's 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 how prestige or whatnot. And then hmm. for a lot of people who, who go into Porsche, before they go into it, they they, they see it like like it's sky high. But after they own it, they drive it like that, they use it, they it becomes nothing already. So when you when you reach to you, the brand Aspirational value, right? It's not that important anymore. You, you no longer look at yes. uh, Porsche or Ferrari as very atas, uh, Toyota, Honda as where you don't you, you totally don't see that hierarchy thing yep. anymore. Yep. It's, it's yep. totally unimportant to you anymore, right? You can drive yep. a Viva, you can drive a what, and by then, most people are in search of more and more exciting drive, 
that's when they, mm. they gravitate to locals after mm. after after that la. if 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 they are in search of more hardcore driving la. yeah you haven't go through that process you you, you wouldn't know how to Correct. appreciate mm. locals mm. yeah it's people who have You're tried right. all these things mm. and i think people who, who drive the turbo cars they go to turbo 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 and at one point they're like no la, i want to go v8 i want to go big and hey you know so, <laughs> yeah yeah Lotus drivers, <laughs> uh, uh, what debris is made of? <laughs> adamantium. And this is the Lotus adamantium. owner, uh, uh, Chigo Suresh, who is a headmaster. Yeah. Uh, Chigo Suresh, well, what, what, what roof? You got roof, man? Your roof is always uh, downward. We never use a roof anyway. Yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a teacher that always drives around without seat belts legally. <laughs> because mm. he has a minimum. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, okay. One other question. Um, how about this one? Going back to something more basic. Uh, Pro Aki says for the first car, Saga, which is a bang for buck, obviously very cheap, and a Myvi, a stepping stone. Hmm. Let's. Yeah. I think. Let's, what do you think as a Myvi as a stepping stone? I mean that that, that remark there. It is because of its is strong this? resale value. Oh, okay. I understand now. Because you just keep your money Such there. Such a strong resale value, uh, it will help you to step, to jump a segment next time. When when you finish mm. pay off your car, right? You your the value of your car, right? Might might be enough for you to jump to skip one segment. Basically, you can skip I, the your segment. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Right, I, I see point both, now. Both saga will be worth nothing, lah. Yeah. If if you buy the saga. The base one is like thirty over thousand, which is really cheap. Uh, let's say depreciation it goes until like what 18, 19. Eight, 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 I'm thinking about eight thousand ringgit in 10, 10, 15 years. That's what uh, it costs. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, in the car, still old, it, will, it, will, it will reach there, But maybe even first gen, they can sell like 15, 16, You know, yeah, it depends on yeah. condition. Yeah, yeah. my anyway, my two oh six, my V is uh fifteen. Two oh six. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so both are great. Uh, the Saga handles better. My V looks more upmarket. It's a prettier car. Uh, Saga Saga is crazy well built. We were we were amazed by it. All right. Mm. So it's up to you. You want to earn back your ten fifteen k when you sell, or you save ten fifteen k upfront when you buy. All right. So it's it's it, the, it, the Saga. It's cheap. If it's if it costs the same as my V, then 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 cannot cannot be really but but it's 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 uh uh two thirds the price of my V. Yeah. It's, it's it's pretty cheap, you know, in it's, it's like thirty percent cheaper. All right, so yep. What else? Okay. Come. Uh how about this one? This is a big comparison. Arteon versus the current five series. So obviously one is a uh, three hundred 17 the e versus the 370 on the um uh five series and i think obviously it's, it's just a hundred thousand cheaper la, you know yeah. um yeah big price difference la. <laughs> i don't know how you compare the price the two yeah <laughs> but um, i guess I mean, used maybe he can afford right? both la. maybe he can afford hmm. both la. the thing is um yes the article is very competitive when you when you pitch, pitch it against the three series and and C class, right? It is super competitive. In fact, it beats all of them in terms of every measurable specs uh, and power yeah, and right. um, the, uh, the, the, the design, the frame yeah. windows, the yeah. seating capacity, the space. Yeah. But yeah. when you when you pitch right. it against a, when you pitch it against a five series and E class segment, right? That two segments yeah. main strength is right quality, man. So mm -hmm. when you pitch against that two, right, then you will you will immediately notice the difference already, because this one is a smaller segment, it's more dynamic, a bit more lively to drive and all that. But when you go one segment up to the five and E class, right, it's about the way it drives, the way, uh, mm -hmm. and 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 in that sense, uh, the Arteon is comfortable by all means, it's comfortable, but the the rear seats are not sculpted the same way a five mm -hmm. series is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still, it's, it's different. So, I, I feel that the, the five series is so much higher in class. Like, if a if a guy wants to buy a seven series and they're like, no, I prefer more of a, more of a driving feel to the car, they might yeah. consider a five series. 
You know what I mean? Exactly. Is that is that level? Owners of seven series will buy a five exactly. series because they find they want a more driver. Feel. Exactly. The the five series yeah. is not a larger three series. It is a smaller no. seven series. Mm. Right. The five series is a smaller seven series in that sense. All right. Yeah. So in fact, the seven series is related to the five series anyway. Mm. Yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. Uh, how about this one from Sam Kyo? He asks, "Hi guys, want a cheap, fun manual car? Thought of a new Axia E Spec Kosong for the FK loan preferred." So uh, I don't know what you like. I, I'm a, I'm a, uh, why, why cheap manual car? And then he goes Axia E Spec. I don't know, Robin. Twenty-five K. Oh. What? 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 What is the fun thing about manual? I mean, let's just define this. Like, people, people say, "Oh, manual is fun, nah." But what do you find? For me, my only fun thing is that the gear shift must be engaging and nice to engage the gears. For me, it must be I must be able to like uh, the, the the clutch would have enough grip. It pulls back and you can play around with it. That is the fun thing about manual. The moment it becomes like a more like a it feels very automatic, very easy manual to drive. I have no fun driving a manual. Yeah, that's just my take, You know, uh, and this one actually force in that it almost feels like automatic. <laughs> it is so. Easy to drive the the manual. That manual feels like automatic when you drive it. So easy. Uh, your, your, your one is sports car kind of kind of you know. Yeah, but but like, but like, it's the like, idea, right? Fun, cheap, and fun. But obviously, he's a young guy, and then uh, uh, so he, I mean, if he's buying loan, then go for it, lor. I mean, I, I didn't, I never knew Axe can be can can be that cheap to buy. I, I never also, knew. What the yeah, price I did, never knew. You can go to twenty five thousand. Yeah. Lowest spec, uh, uh, I just see. came back from yeah, Singapore. Lowest, this is like it, low, it casing lowest, dollar. Lowest lowest spec is twenty five thousand three hundred. Uh, for oh, manual one point oh. Yeah, the oh, advanced. Wow, crazy. The advanced automatic is forty five thousand three hundred. Are hey, you kidding but, but, me? Yeah. But Sam, it's so kosong, right? It is so kosong, right? You should look at the manual saga instead. The mm. saga handles way better than the axia. The axia. I mean, put it this way: uh, a car, a car's handling is actually way more important than the number of airbags. You know, yeah. a car that is that 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 handles itself well, it, it will always be in control. Whether you sometimes you skid or whatnot, right? So, mm. so to me, the saga is mm. the saga feels mm. way yeah. better, lah. But but I know it's ten thousand more. So, but down payment is one thousand more, and then in terms of installment, negligible differences, lah. To be honest, yeah. so I I would I would I would recommend you to go with the Saga manual, lah. Right? It's 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 a much 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 better handling car compared to the Axia. <laughs> yeah, I I will feel I'll feel safer in the Saga, lah. Also. Oh, the Saga can go one sixty one seventy safely on the highway, even Correct. high speed bends and all that, right? It can do that yeah. safely. I yeah. cannot count the number of axias on the highway. Turn, turn, turn! Suddenly, the car, you know, short wheel base, lost control, and all that. Uh, dangerous. Okay. This is an interesting one. Moving on, we talked about the Arteon earlier. So the T3OI, which is a very competent, very powerful car, yeah. and then the Arteon, which to choose? Question uh, is, what the heart tells you, what the brain tells you. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. It, I, I, no way. Is it both are great choices? I mean, we 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 have been asked this so many times already, right? So it's like yeah. you, you, you should do a video of it. Just do a test drive. Whichever Wait, you buy, you you should huh? you should do a video of it. Have a Atheon and have a at the BM BM there, and you're like like really compare one to one, point for point. This is really no, been asked so many times. Both are great cars, right? Both are so good. Yeah. You know, it's. I, I don't know how to how to say that really, and and, and I don't see Volkswagen as a brand that is one rung lower than yep. than BMW. I see them here. I see them here. You know, in recent so, years, in recent years, unfortunately, I I can't look at VW as that much lower than Audi. They are they are not as like Audi, but now they are very close in terms of uh, what they're delivering. So uh, specs wise, anyway, yeah, um, it's hard. I see them as competitors really. So, like. With, with Audi, uh, they, they, right, that's what I... so well made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, just, I'm, I'm sorry, Ben Ben. You just go and test drive either either one that you buy. You're not making a wrong choice. Ah, uh. both are so good. Yeah, the uncle, the uncle in me might buy Atheon. That's about. It. Mm. I mean, although I love my BMs, the uncle in me mm. might actually go for the Atheon. Oh, because for me, I also I also side more towards the Atheon. 
uh, because of the frameless doors, the hatch, the, the rear hatch, the larger leg room and all that. Mm. And yes, we know the, the rear wheel drive driving enjoyment, but that one, 5% of the time we use that. Other than that, we are we are like, you know, so yeah. so for me, also slightly to the, to the, the Arteon. And I don't like the new iDrive. It's annoying. <laughs> It's, yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like the new uh, BM um, the toggle switch for the uh, sport mode. So annoying, Bobby. You know, I, every time I watch Matt Watson's video, right? I watch Matt Watson's video, Car Wow, right? When he talk about BMW, mm. oh, the iDrive is so easy to use. When he say it's so easy to use, right? His B roll is just scrolling the thing around. You know, in my heart, it's like <laughs> use, use it, show me, use it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's like so hell. difficult to find you know. It's like, <laughs> who says right, it's correct. easy? Yeah, I think the, the not of course, easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, how about this one? Uh, we've got uh, Mr. Kang Ling. Kang Ling, 1125. Hi, Bobby and Tana. Was comparing the Mazda 3 HP 2.0 and the Golf GTI Mark 8. Would like to listen to your opinion of the both uh, of these cars. Golf GTI. Wow. Mazda 3. Golf GTI because the Mazda yeah. 3 now prices is like 170 old, uh, right? Yeah, huh? it's, it's a little old, also. I mean, if you think about it, it's, it's been out. It looks new, <laughs> it, looks, it looks more modern than the Golf GTI. Yes, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. okay. Let, let's say, okay, let's just quantify this. Love. It looks better than the Golf GTI, in my opinion. The build quality interior is still better than Golf GTI. Um, overpriced. Well, all price lah. Hmm. I mean, put it this way: when 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 someone's budget can reach golf, right? You you are in another category already. You know, it's like hmm. and and the fact that the Mazda three's prices is so near to a golf GTI, it's only because hmm. of taxation, local assembly, this kind of thing. You know, it's not that the car, the car is not organically worth near the price of a GTI. Correct, you know? correct, correct. As much as the. The, the dynamics of the car is quite nice. It's not at the level of a Golf GTI. Mm. It is not. So if, uh, if your budget can get Golf mm. GTI, it is. Mm. Yeah. In, in, in a way, in a way, the, the, the pinnacle of handling and, and fun factor for Golf for VW is the GTI brand name. La. So you go for G, Golf, Golf GTI, you can say like, it's a exactly. Golf GTI. You get, you get all that handling and the and way it, the engine, the way it moves, all that put together. So. Yes. Yeah, as much as I love the Mazda 3, you know, the way it looks and all that, right? But it's, it's nowhere near a Golf GTI in terms of what you're getting for your money, seriously. You know, mm. it's a, the, the, the GTI can be an emotional and logical purchase, whereas the Mazda 3 mm. is purely emotional purchase. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Next question we got Satish here. So this is, I wish when I wish Kwan was here. So. Uh, he's looking at it he's 23 years old quite young um, and looking to get a first car and he has a budget of 30k so 30k to consider the e39 525 and the w210 e uh, e240 yeah there's no yeah, challenge uh, there's no challenge personally, uh, personally i'm happy he's uh, looking at the e39 and at his, at his yeah. age mm. but, uh, but yeah e39 drives so well uh, you know i'm i'm, yes. I'm not driving on a, 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 a five to a five to eight bobby the older generation uh e39 so nice bobby it's so beautiful. Uh. It's crazy. I love it. I thought you bought you bought an E90 that day. So you also bought an E39. So what I'm doing now is I'm buying these cars, I'm restoring them, and uh, and the cars are being sold, you know. So that's part of the okay, okay. Uh, so, so 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 instead of me getting buying cars, I'm buying cars and restoring them and um and they're, and they're being sold, you know. So so yeah, so the Ethernet came through, we restored the interior, we restored the uh, exterior cars. So, so now now horizon team. Hello? Sorry, sorry. My say connection. Again? Yeah, you say what? Now my connection now, slowed down. And yeah. You said now or as in team? No, no, no. Connection problem. No, yeah, I can hear you. Very good, good. Can you hear me? Anna? Yes, One, we can. two, three. Yes, we can hear you, Bobby. All good. Can we do the three, two, one thing? Oh, okay. Just to sync up. Three. Okay. Three, two, two. one. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah? Three, two, one, clap. Two, one. Wow, lag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's another so, yeah. thing we cannot match Singaporeans, our internet speed. Multimeter <laughs> corridor, hey. 
Ah. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, e39, uh, this, 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 I, I mean, I, I, I've seen the, the, and, you know, as, as nice as it is, right, it is, it is not e39 level. Oh, not e39 level. E, e39 is, is, is really, I think every, every continental car owner, right, current continental car owner, right, must sit in cons e39 for once. You know, slow speed traffic, high speed, you know, you, you then you understand why German cars were so famous back then for their for their why people love German cars last time. Now it's mainly they're selling because of the brand and all that, you know, the bow and all that. But none of the current generation ones provide that kind of drive, you know, that a E39 or a W124, you know, that, that can give you, you know, is is the, the heft word that I always mention. Yeah. Yeah, you know, and even opening the door, right? The door handle feel when you close it, mm. how the door clicks in. Whoa. Mm. All this is, yeah, it, it is something. Uh, the E39 is something. Yep. Yeah. F10 feels like a Camry next to it. <laughs> as nice as the F10 is, uh, you know, uh, I, open the door, I, I, you I, close the door, you swing the thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels more mass produced compared to the E39. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. The E39 feels like it's milled from a block. That kind of yes. feeling, you know. Yeah, it has that feeling. Very nice. Very hard to find a proper one, but when you find it, you know, buy it. Can't go wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Ibul Adam says, Hey guys, good evening. I'm a foreigner working in KL. Uh, so I assume it's a cash purchase. Wants to buy a W222 uh, S400H, the uh, hybrid S Class. Uh, 20415 for your advice, Bobby. I've watched one of your videos about the hybrid battery. Please advise. Mm. Yeah, so I think you know, lah. You buy a hybrid. I mean, the reason you're in, you're looking at the S Class because it's damn cheap, right? It's, it's like dirt cheap, yeah. even though it's like seven years old. I wonder what's the price, ah. I wonder how much price difference than the other, like the uh, normal non hybrid. Um, and yeah, they sold a lot of those, lah. How much is it? Okay, it's like 140 grand. Oh my god, it's the it's this generation. <laughs> oh uh. wow. Yeah. Cheap, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My god. Not deny, right? The price. Oh my it's god. Like, it's a bargain life, you think about it, I know. 150k. So I don't know what to say. Yeah, man, don't know what to say, right? Mm. The price, la. The price, la. Yeah. I can't beat the price, la. And, and that interior, right? That, that, that interior mm. is, is lovely. I, I, I don't think I can find something that is. Not for the price, la. Even huh? if you talk about 7 Series, uh, 7 Series, it won't, it doesn't look, um, I mean, not, not at 100. Oh, yeah, they are actually at 180, yeah? Yeah, Close, it's uh, more expensive. It's 50k more, mm, the 7 Series. Yeah. So, 50k for a hybrid battery, yeah. I mean, how, Tana? It's, it's luck, right? I, hybrid okay, okay luck. put it, put it in. I, I don't like Mercedes hybrid systems, now Because yeah. uh, I find BMW have, got, uh, have done the whole modular batteries, hybrids. So, each battery can be changed out easily. Uh, from what I hear, Mercer doesn't have that one win for the BMW. Uh, BMW also is more invested in hybrids opposed to Mercedes in Malaysia in terms of the drivetrain. So again, point for BMW. So if I was forced to buy a, a hybrid again, uh, unfortunately, I'll still pick a BMW. You know. I think I think I will, uh, as nice as this Mercedes is, it's very nice. Wow, it's very, it's very very nice. So nice. So. Uh, to a lot of people, the 7 Series interior isn't as pretty, right? Mm. Uh, but I think if you can squeeze 40,000 more out of your budget, then if you're, then then it removes your worry on the hybrid part. You don't have to think or worry about the hybrid, the electrical circuits, you know, you don't have to worry about all that. And then you spend 40K more, you go into a 7 Series, uh, in fact, the seven series to me, I I find that it rides better, it drives better. 
Um, it's just a better car. It's though not as pretty or as majestic as as this generation S class, the way it looks, right? Um, yeah. So so if you're worried about a hybrid, uh, I mean, I mean, if you're ready to buy the bullet, you know, like I, I just want to S class. It's, it's really something so so amazing. And if you're lucky, your hybrid doesn't doesn't catch out you. You know, no problems turn up. Then then you got yourself a very nice car for 150k. But there's no guarantee. That's the problem. And yep. and when it when it screws you up, you will you will easily use up that 40 fifty thousand very quickly. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand why you consider it you know, because it's just so nice at this price. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, he says, but his budget was actually one hundred eighty thousand lah. So ah, uh, then yeah, so then, so a bit more can lah. Yeah, the the, the seven. Can, when you look at the seven series, it, it just it just doesn't carry that look. You know that that majestic look that the S class has, and then you go inside the interior. The S class interior is like wow. Out of this <laughs> compared to the seven True. series, it's like is that a larger three series or what? You know, uh, I I I feel uh, I'm more. But I'm, actually, the I'm more. Material, Correct. I feel I'm more of a I feel like I'm more like a kid in a in a candy store in a in S class because like wow, a lot of lights, a lot of colors, yeah, lot of buttons, yeah. more fancy, you know. So yeah, you know, says like guy like oh, seven series, okay, uh, yeah, that's it lah, that's it. And and I've already heard more than one from actual owners who bought the S class mm. and say they get they get nausea sitting at the back of the S class, mm. and then they change to seven series. Mm -hmm. uh, there, are, there are a couple already. Mm -hmm. A couple of them who had the S class mm -hmm. told me that, mm -hmm. and then they went to the seven series. Mm -hmm. I All got right. a friend of so, mine who does a shock and suspension, and apparently mm -hmm. the E class hybrid, um, when they when they bought it, they found that the rear passenger also was complaining because the, the the battery and the weight and the way it goes wasn't comfortable. Yeah, a lot of them yeah. went for full suspension makeover and stuff, lah. So yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you. I mean that's that's for your consideration. You look at the interior, cannot fight. You look at the design of this Not interior. Right. That's just mm. no comparison. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, make both cars kiss. <laughs> yes, moving the cars around earlier. So make it kiss. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this question? I saw a CLS at the Southern Teach that day. Didn't manage to catch up with the owner though. So pretty and timeless. Oh, thank you, Kisadi. So pretty and timeless. Wonder why yeah. another rare and not a default recommendation for you by guys. Or why not? Hey, we, we, we suggested we suggested the CLS quite a few times, you know. For mm, its mm. price, uh, it's then worth buying with a mm. hundred each thousand. Yeah. It's just that during that time, Mercedes engine strategy was a bit screwed up. The CLS, the smallest engine you can get is a 3.5 CGI. Uh, it was only a few years later where they had the CLS 400. So if you look at the CLS 350 versus the 400, right, used car prices are huge, huge uh, for, for, for for what it is. So that's the problem. Uh, the old, no, not, not this CLS, uh, uh, which means the previous gen, one gen before this, the, the gen that is, everybody say the nicest. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one, this one. This, it's really nice, mm. right? So, yeah, it's a very nice car. It's pretty, and for its price, uh, I'll get this over F10 now. Nah. This CLS, very nice, very beautiful car. Mm. But it's based on the W212, So, yeah. Okay. You don't get the from, one. Uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Go for the bigger, big engine, lah. Yeah, CIS 400 law, the 3 liter turbo law, which is the C43 en engine, fantastic engine. Mm. I mm. believe one of us, one of the guys in the Evo Club Southern actually have uh, one that's straight pipe. CLS 350, he's straight pipe, you know, so it's loud. And mm. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, question here from Julian Kao. Uh, Bobby and Tanam, your thoughts on the 216 17 Audi A4 2.0 S line? Uh, is it be a first continental car? He wants something that looks good, drives well, and mostly still driving with enough power and handles well. Yeah, what's the price point, I guess? Though? That's the biggest question uh, in Malaysia. The V9A4. Oh, yeah. Tour 16, huh? Mm. Oh. Higher. No, it's, it's a wide range because it's rare, right? 
So you have people selling at 110, you have people selling at 140, uh, you have people selling at 160. The S line is at 120. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, 160, one, 160, yeah. 120 to 160. Hmm. Hmm. Um, to be honest, sometimes cars that are rarer, right? Uh, there's no there's no competition amongst owners to no sell, sure, no sure, no sure. and it results in uh, unrealistic used car prices. So, in that sense, this is a, a little bit unrealistic, uh, to be honest. But that's the market price, so no choice. I mean, uh, what's the <laughs> oh, it's actually okay. This price. Ah, okay lah. Okay lah. One sixty, one seventy. Yeah. We're so used to F thirty G series prices. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just. I was, I was thinking, thinking about that in comparison to how a uh, uh, F thirty sits. Uh. But then uh, again, F thirty looks so old compared to this. Uh, because it's so yeah. common on the road the a4 yeah. is, is not a common set on the road like, you know so yeah. you're right you're right I, I i see your point of view julian like getting this yeah. over f30 um yeah. something very okay, unique yeah. okay ma that's good yeah no problem good choice actually good choice no problem. yeah yeah um apalagi any more questions you see bobby you want to pick out south uh, Sean bring young to mbs Okay, apparently Sean has brought Chiang sorry, to sorry, uh, Sean, Sean brings Chiang to MBS. Jujat Gelang. What are you doing there? I'm not really sure. <laughs> yeah. okay. Anyway, uh, I highlight this one. Andy Chu, hmm. he said he owns an S400. He said he, he has no problems with his car. Uh, and then he has hmm. friends who have. There we go. Uh, hmm. you know, it's just luck, I guess. Luck. It's like this one. I mean, everyone knows someone. Of a certain brand, you know, who have, you know, so so. This is normal. I mean, I've had a Toyota in in workshop waiting for like four months, waiting for parts. Yep. But mine is a Toyota Crown, la. <laughs> I mean, yeah. and it, like I mean, as as much as I say, I'll buy a a BMW. Like like a question here, what Tana? How is your BMW? Yeah. Someone asked the question here. Uh, yeah. mine is still in BMW, getting it sorted. You know, it's been four yeah. months now, four months yeah. plus, like no. It's yeah. luck. My, I, I'm one of the one out of because I'm in the I'm in the group of the T3E, yeah. and I'm the one out of ten thousand people who have bought the car, or yeah. I'm the one who can, uh, can't yeah. blame the car. It's luck, like just just luck. But I have to say this, uh, You compare the what seven seven G Tronic gearbox with the uh, ESP ZF. I'm very sure that ESP ZF is is the indestructible one, uh. But Mercedes has Mercedes makes their own transmission. No car makers. Not many car makers have the capability to, to make their own transmission. Uh, BMW don't make their own transmission. Mercedes can. So, uh, yeah. Mm. All right. Wow, this is interesting. Arni yes. Tan says, Thanks, Bobby and friends, for the advice of the Bentega and Kalidan. Bought the Kalidan with the RR template. Salute. Salute. Why, why, why you announce your plate? <laughs> exactly, but uh, yeah, but now, but now, anybody sees the plate number, please share the picture on Evo Club. I want to see the car. No, no, yeah, no. <laughs> bro. Are you Ani? <laughs> Ani, yeah. hey, Ani Tan. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um. Oh, okay. A uh, um, uh, BM. Uh, most question. Um, considering the C two fifty, sixteen second hand, one eighty, one ninety. Um, it's a bit. Oh, uh, it's a uh, earlier. 16 is the one before uh, two before now, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it's very high price. Oh. Very high price, la. Very well. Yeah, the prices are, are strong, man. The demand for C class is crazy, la. Uh, hmm. because there are so 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 many uh BMW F30 and but and back then when they throw prices and all that, right? So hmm. so people now see C class as oh, a luxury car, and then they see <laughs> the series like ah. Yeah. Where, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of desirability for C class, especially younger generations. 
the younger generations right now they see Mercedes as more chic and sporty and they see BMW as the old man's car. Yeah, that's wow. that's what all, all generation tells me now. 50% yeah. more than a than a similar BMW. BMW. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, la, same year 330i would be around 160k. And this one, the resale is crazy. The resale value of the C class is crazy. So uh, if you ask whether it's worth, it's not because it has very strong resale. Right? So if you already own it, ah, oh, you're like, ah, oh, worth it, uh, this car, strong resale. If you haven't buy it, then you're buying at a at a much higher price than what, what it should be. Uh. But then that's the thing. Uh this this car, this car is worth is is price uh. i mean people the that the demand is just there that's why it's just, mm. the price is so high yeah so, so so that year did they have a c200 yes yes they do they so, do so the c200 in comparison they is do. wow what's that 140k or so crazy yeah c200 are you saying are you serious uh, yeah the 200 and the 250 is about the same price uh, plus minus mm. but the you drive and see you go and test drive the car la, the, the 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 transmission sucks mm. it's, it's like doesn't had his has a mind of his own one it's like mm. yeah the way it works is, is pretty lousy yeah, in terms of transmission yeah 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 okay um okay so moving on to something more opposite uh about ev when would be a good time to start buying EV? I've had that thought of mind. La. When should I buy an EV? Uh, yeah. I mean, eventually all will have an EV. Um, yeah. For, for um, me, maybe it's like if your lifestyle time. cannot, yeah, if your lifestyle cannot fit EV, don't buy. That's for me. Uh, I think. Like. Bobby? Bobby. We lost the boy for a while. Bobby will come back. Hmm. Yeah. So as I was saying before, for me, uh, buying an EV, it's about a choice of um, lifestyle. Like, where do you stay? Where do you work? How far? How far do you live uh, from your workplace? How far you live from uh, the place you go? Normally go to. If you can fit those things around charging and recharging and your dry your and then your particular engine the range is sufficient then you can consider an ev you know uh and then what if suddenly you buy a lower range ev then suddenly you need to have a higher range ev to go to another place then you're like uh does it make sense like company uh fort company been trying to get all this control with ev for a while now but maybe we're just talking about the wrong language EVs, clean, powerful, affordable, capable, easy, and fun to use and drive. All of you. But how I remember to plug in, like I do with my phone, watch, headphones every night. <laughs> True, everything we do, we always plug in and, and we go ahead. But I guess um, the time you oh. take, like, you know. Uh, it's a funny meme from uh, Ford. They say, like, um, yeah. they all say EVs, uh, you know, you must... Uh, um, it's like how do you charge the EVs? But like then again, you charge your phones, you charge your smartwatch, everything is charged at night. So yeah. it should be the same factor. But I I just find that what I call not everybody can charge at night. Put it same. If you go home, unless you live in a lender house or condo has the facilities, then yeah. you have to actually to, to charge overnight. So that's a thing yeah. to do to think about. And also like when you want to charge, if there's a big queue in the in the petrol pump station to charge the the car, then what? Mm. So it depends pretty much where you stay, what you do, and all that, you know. So I think, my I think for for everyday cars, right? Mm. Uh, like the car that you use to go to work and home, you know, that, mm. that should be an EV, you know. And uh, for Malaysians, the time to buy EV is before the government re-announce taxes on EVs. Is you guys, you guys have to understand, right? The prices that you see now on the Kias, the Hyundai's, and all that, these are their actual price. You know what you're buying is 
it's not it's not taxed at all. Imagine mm. these cars go through the same tax as their petrol CPU counterparts, right? The Kia EV6 would end up 600,000. The Hyundai Ioniq 5 would end up 500 over 1,000. It will be out of the reach, everybody. And then you all will say, ah, no point, uh, so expensive, you know. But now it's tax free. And I don't understand why the government give an all out tax free. I mean, tax 10% is also okay, ma, right? right? And road tax is also free. So now is the best best time. But then you, you live with that concept. I mean, Maybe the government do all tax free so that more people buy, and then the market is there for people to install the charges. Mm. So the a, a, yeah, yeah. But Pau Pau is from 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 Singapore, so I think Singapore is so small, so easy to, to implement all this. Uh, just that the, the Singapore government sucks on your wallet, whatever you do, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, one guy brought Ionic 5 to Southern Siege. So initially, our whole plan was from Eco Botanic to Desaru. Everybody would drive to Desaru and then come back. Because one person brought EV, we cancelled Desaru. <laughs> and then after we cancelled Desaru, he told me, hey, I need to rush back. I got something urgent. Then he, he, he went off. Okay, no, no, it's a joke. Uh, okay, <laughs> it's a joke. But he did bring an Ionic Five, and then we, we really did cancel the Saru. But not, not, it's, it's not of his cost, uh, but, but it's, a, it's a funny joke. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay, so um, yeah, oh, I, yeah, who's screen? I cannot see the comments. Yeah. Okay, so the question again MX5 RF 218 versus brz daily ride comfortable cornering uh what would you choose i mean our our, our default answer is ms5 already mm. yeah 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 you can do more things with mx5 because of the um, drop top i guess so. yeah but the a lot of those but, but those more hardcore drivers they they, they really want to drive the brz uh, because the BRZ actually has a sports car engine, the MX-5 doesn't. MX-5 has a pedestrian passenger car engine, you know, hey, that kind of engine. Whereas the BRZ is a 2 liter, 200 horsepower. If you look at the numbers, the displacement is equivalent to FD2R kind of engine output, you know. Mm -hmm. That's really a 2 liter with 200 horsepower, yeah. So Hunter has a question here. Uh, if you buy a Porsche Recon or second end, can I go to Porsche itself and change the seat colors and wooden trim? So I have a friend who has a 991, 991.2 and he wanted to change the mm. seats. That's why yeah, this, the, the seat belt into a different color. And they say you can't do it. If you do it, the warranty uh, the warranty that is not covered. So, mm. so 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 certain things you can with Porsche itself, certain things they won't like, you know, certain things like aftermarket stuff, like for example, seats they sell. Uh, you know? I, I think I think the first thing is uh, when you buy a, a recon Porsche and all that, right? Your VIN number is not in their system, so mm. for them to put into their system, for them to order the, the things for you, I'm not sure if that's possible yet. So for them, I'm, for them to order it, um, they need your VIN number, so you will have to get your car adopted, and adopting your car, they will charge you. Right, so you you go and go and talk to them now. And sometimes, right, you spec this car to be like this, right? Somehow the system, I think the system is quite rigid. One right? when you go back, right, under your VIN, this is your spec. You can order replacement parts, but I'm not so sure about ordering different trims to upgrade the trim. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, you go Porsche and ask up. All right. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Um. Will, will or it will be if it's possible it will be crazy expensive that it becomes yeah. so prohibitive it's not worth doing everybody i know will do it outside lah, so yeah <laughs> uh silly question but nothing is silly does it matter japan and uk recondition so peace good yeah luck. does it matter it i think it matters i mean generally the condition of cars coming from japan is is better Mm. Uh, but that's that's general general speaking because there are also in Malaysia that only import 
uh, from UK from from official pre-owned. So the mileage is official, everything is official. But you know lah, I mean Europeans they they, they have winter, they have snow, mm. and uh, snow means they put salt on the road. Salt. Yeah. Or generally, British people would escape the cold weather during summer. They would drive their cars down to continental Europe, mm. drive around, mm. drive to Italy, drive to Spain, France, and all that. They rack up pretty high mileage. And then Japan cars, your radio station, your radio station, mm. you will not be able to receive uh, radio transmission from ninety uh, mh sec. It's, it's a much lower lower bandwidth. Though. Mm, but you can mm. you can mod that lah. My biggest thing is about the salt thing, Bobby. I saw uh, two was in Audi, yeah, and uh, and, mm. and uh, and uh, another one was a um, a golf and uh, the comparison lah. But I was shocked. Mm. It's like twenty thousand kilometers mileage, yeah, and uh, the Japan spec one was perfect. I mean, was perfect, beautiful. The mm. UK spec one was wow, even low mileage. You can still see like uh, surface rust is there. The salt gets in, you know. Just kind of yeah. white, kind of white, and you yeah. ask the yeah. guys like, "This is normal, lah. This is a UK UK car, mm. normal, mm. Right now. Mm. And it's not easy to remove all that again. And and recently, uh, there are people who import cars from South Africa. Mm. You see, that's 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 how far down Malaysia has gone. We buy we buy used cars from South Africa now, <laughs> but it's a joke. But but uh, South Africa cars they don't have the salt problem. All right, so. So what, what's, what's, it's HP. <laughs> oh, this is HP. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so one is what you're trying to say is this is better yeah. be a, an, an analogy. You see, the yeah. UK spec one is more exposed to rust, so it got corrosion <laughs> there. You see, Japan one is more closed up, so it's more well taken care for. You know, uh, much more pristine, like, You know, so uh, that's why HP say by Japanese lah. That's the analogy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next one. Uh, you know the, the radio okay. thing is not it's not that easy to mod, you know. Tana. They say uh, that what, really, what, 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 signal booster they, and all that shit. They, they, they got they got adapter, what I thought. I, I think it's that now is the adapter they help you scan and stuff, don't worry. It's not that easy, especially integrated modules where your infotainment and everything is integrated. Right? It's it's mm. even my Subaru back then from Japan. Uh, I, I go to those accessory shop. I say, ah, oh, no problem. Uh. I install signal booster, boost their head. Uh. If it sounds like I'm listening in, in the basement too, it always sounds like I'm listening to radio in basement. It sounds like crap. Uh. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, in Malaysia now, you can buy all this aftermarket stuff and change the whole uh, system. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Android, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, apa lagi, apa lagi, apa lagi? Group Pulse is uh, golfing for the win. <laughs> wow, it's a very old comment already. Eh? <laughs> Look at the timeline. What, what time is it now? Hey, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Let me just. Uh, I'm going to go out to the more current uh, comments. There's the two of us today, and then go uh, back. Yes. Do we import? Yeah. Okay. Yes. There are mm-hmm. dealers who bring in from South Africa now. I have a okay. friend who bought um, a Porsche Targa from South Africa. Fantastic condition. Apparently, his his joke to me is that Africa. Out of out of South Africa, everywhere is crap, right? So people don't travel that far. <laughs> they only drive around their own area. They also don't drive into those those dodgy areas, you know. Correct. Uh, the, correct. The, the, the ones in Africa, they stay within their own community, their golf golf mm. golf clubs, their shopping malls. That's about it. They they don't have enjoyable road trips, you know, <laughs> to Congo, Sudan, you know, the <laughs> still still is still having civil war and all that. Yeah, they, they don't go. African continent road trips, ah, uh. yeah, uh, yeah, no, okay. no, no snow, no snow. So, mm. so yeah. So, question from Emilia White Rose. Hi, Sifu. Oh, sorry, oh. sorry. No, second man, wait. Sorry, no. Japanese my, drivers my are more gentle than than British drivers. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. And, True? and they take care of their cars really well, unlike the Brits, mm. right? Mm. I find Japanese owners like they they give the car back. They like they feel I want to wash the car and give it, give it back nicely. You know they feel them. <laughs> I must feel yeah, yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Emilia White Rose asked question. Uh, my V versus a used Vios third gen, which is better for city and highway driving? Vios third gen is what? Uh, which I also yeah. don't know. One first gen. I would I would just pick the. Answer for me would be the my my, my Yeah, I think more or less the same. Uh, two or thirteen, the two or thirteen, yeah. Gen three. Yeah, 
Yeah, and, and uh, two thirty is a, yeah. it's a very old car, you know. Um, mm. and your car, get get the my my V, Yeah, get the my V, get the my Okay. Um, how about this one? More uh, fantasy question. Below two hundred thousand cabriolet four seater, so no MX five. How about? I think you may be able to get a four to OI convertible. I think I saw one for sale a while back, but very rare. Yeah. The only one that you can buy, I mean, if you can find one, la. Mm. if you can find one, la. because mm. most convertibles are no longer available for loan, except the MX-5 for your price range. Mm. Uh, all are What's cash price. Yeah. Convertibles have very strong resale, so the moment they, they, they drop to these prices, <laughs> Sadly, this car is not available in Malaysia. Sadly, it's not available. Yeah. Yeah. As laugh at it, I think SUV convertibles will be the next big thing. Uh, because SUVs now has become like the, 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 the generic Sports form fan. of cars. Yeah. I don't know. I, I always question how they make the car rigid enough. You know, as, as it is, you know, um, Sedans with the convertibles are not are not strong in, and then you get this SUV that's convertible. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> so yeah, two hundred thousand dollars cabrio, uh, four seater, no MX five. Um, I, I can't think of any other. MX five or four series only, yeah, but you cannot find four series mm. or whatever. Mm. They're, they're yeah. just not available. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Um. Okay, a uh, question on Subaru XV EyeSight. Is it a good car for daily use and family cruiser, or should you go for the X50 HRV and Cross? Way different price point, like, but even used. Um, yeah, the, the XV I don't see any problem with the car. Like. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But the new HRV is so good looking, like. so damn good looking. Mm. I can't. I can't wait to drive it, lah. I can't wait for Tesla for that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very good looking. Very good looking. Mm. All right. Okay. okay. How about this one? Yo, guys. Apparently, car affordability is gross annual salary. Is it true? Uh? Car affordability is gross annual salary. If you buy a hundred k used car, need to earn one two zero per month. Do you agree with this? Oh, so his concept is saying that if let's say you earn half a million uh, ringgit per year, then you should you should, you should be able to buy a half million car. Yes and no lah. Loan, loan, tenant, yeah. going back and forth. You know, I mean, some of them have preference of investing in cars versus investing in houses. Yes. Yeah, yeah lah. Different different thing lah. You see so many so many people earning earning four five k use people earning five hundred k, right? <laughs> It's like it's, it's, it's up to you, uh. I mean, uh, I I don't know. I mean, you are the finance guy, Dana. Yeah, as I said, I I think it's different because the the, the value of what a dollar brings uh, is different to you and me. Okay, and also like for example, if you let's say buy um um if you say you're buying a Porsche nine eight seven. A boxster today for 170 whatever i like buying for like you know mm. i would say mm. <clears throat> that is not to say money burnt because the money you're putting in there unlikely is going to drop by 50 percent tomorrow mm. or in a year or in two years you know so if the money doesn't yeah. drop what is the actual expense that you actually goes out it's not what mm. right so so you cannot just simply say oh it's 500 case by affordability and stuff it's where you put your money either in a house or fd or a car there's a lot of factors involved, so I would yeah. say, like, no, you know, it's not the case. I, for, for me, I mean, it depends whether you're single or, or, or married with kids, right? If you're married with kids, mm -hmm. right, only 11K, you buy a 135K car, right? Your, your money payment is 1,005, almost 2K, you know? Mm -hmm. 1,005 or 2K, uh, around that range. Uh, that's that's a lot, uh, if, if all you're earning for your family, if, if all you're earning for your family is just 11K, right? You 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 spend thousand five two thousand on a car is is huge. Mm. If you have a family, if you're single, by all means, man. <laughs> if you're single, yeah. If you are a family man, then that's a lot, lah. To, I mean, if, if I were to think that for wow, two kids, a house, and all that, your 
Yeah. How to afford lah? Exactly. Yeah. Everybody's different lah. Yeah. Mm. Okay. For so me, if I have a family, about... I, I would not spend that kind of money ah. Correct. So, yeah, question about uh, Ford Focus 2.0 TDCI uh, and question about the DCT gearbox and buying a Ford. Should you consider a DCT gearbox from Ford from 2010 to 2012? Yeah. Ford, love. <laughs> Yeah, for, yeah, for, for you're, right. Right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Yeah. You did your research well. Yes, it's a nice car, but the concern is the gearbox, also? the gearbox. Mm. Also? So, so yeah. the answer is go and research how much to uh, buy the gearbox and install it, and that's your, uh, that's your buffer. You know. Yeah, you know how much, then you you save up. You know, then you you will change your gearbox one hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot run away from that. Yeah. One of those things, man. It's fine. Yeah. Don't be fine. <laughs> All yeah. I need was put it in gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How I wish. It's nice that you see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what else is there? Hey guys. Uh, wow. This is the question I must highlight. Uh. October fest is coming soon. And looking uh, at the truck as a third vehicle to fill up the bed with ice and beer. Torn yeah. between DMX X Terrain and Navara Pro yeah. 4X. Yeah. I haven't seen the Pro, uh, the, the Navara Pro yet. Uh, I only know the X Terrain, you know. But if you're only concerned about the, 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 the truck bed and the ice and beer, all of them can put. <laughs> Not I, I, recently, I saw I saw quite a number of Navara, you know, so good looking. Mm, with correct, ones, correct. Yeah. And good looking. With. And the, yeah. and the whole uh, pastel gray and that, that whole uh, charcoal color is nicer. Uh, yeah. Very modern looking. Yeah. Oh, do you know, Tana? Adrian mm. Schmitter, right? He's mm. a Malaysian German. Wow. He's born in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Born in Malaysia. He's, he's, a, he's a Malaysian German. So one of the young lion lion, done lion lion. We need to go and see Adrian Schmitter for, for October he, Fest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, I miss you, Adrian. Mm. Let's have, let's have beer soon. Let's have beer mm. soon. Fest. But, but yeah. I, I say I, I only driven the X, the, the D Max now, but the D Max to me is yeah. brilliant, like you know, very comfortable, very nice to drive. Yeah. Um, yeah. So okay, mo moving on. Uh, oh, interesting one. Uh, two fifteen Mark Seven. I think it's Mark Seven GTI. Uh, must be yeah. I hope so. Versus a 216 F30. Um, can you can you tell us which what F30? Car, what? Yeah, which yeah, F30? Mm. Yeah, you have to tell us that. All right, please head up mm. at this. Okay. Uh, question: Are you into wagons? And Bobby, are you surprised what number of wagons in Singapore? I guess they must buy yeah. cars that are worth their money. Correct. Hey, so buy con. Cars that are worth Yo, money. guys. Hey, Con, how are you? Hello. Yo, good, good, good. Tana, we missed you at Southern Siege, man. Yeah, man. I, but I was yeah. busy here. La. I have stuff, I was stuff to do, organize and settle. La. So it's okay. It's all part of the yeah. thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, to finish, I'm, I'm not, I'm not surprised because I know, I know Singaporean car buyers are, Singapore is a more sophisticated market. Basically, it's a more advanced market. Uh, than Malaysia, the number of wagons and convertibles in Singapore is is everywhere. So they are more open to to different brands. They are a more mature and sophisticated car consumer. And the number one, number two brand in Malaysia is Proton Pro. Singapore is BMW, Mercedes. That's their number one, number two brand. So you can think of Singapore as a giant. Bangsa, Bukit Damansara, uh, Mon Chiara, KLGCC. You can think of wow. Singapore as that. La. It's our, our top tier uh, 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 demography, but it's an entire country. Eh. So mm. they, they, they are more open to different things. Yeah, they're more daring when it comes to buying cars. Yeah. But then again, so, the population mm. of Singapore that owns a car also is smaller. I'm not sure. I don't have data to back it. I don't have data. Uh, I have no data, but but it, it appears to me that they have, they have no trouble mm. owning. Because the thing is this, you know, we always convert 
then we say Singapore cars are expensive. Same goes with Singaporean because they convert, they say their cars are expensive. But if you could look at number to number, right, they're more or less there. But the, the same job that you earn 2K in Malaysia, you're earning 4K in Singapore, sing dollar. When it comes to salary, right? Yes, 2K ringgit versus 4K sing dollar. The same kind no of job. No yes. Bro, no yes. Dishwasher is getting paid three five three eight. They are they are they are they are they are what do you call uh, how do I say minimum? You compare your your, higher, your your higher no. higher level yeah. job, Mi your minimum bro. wage minimum wage there is higher. That I agree. Malaysia bro, a pressure. teacher earns five k starting yeah. five k yeah. in dollar. Yeah. Teacher correct correct. The, teacher the, the, the starting wage there is 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 higher. I agree. But uh, go up, it doesn't work that way. Like that, 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 that general population thing, uh, your, no. your CFO level is different, uh, right? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> in general, public wise, they, they are, they are they, the numbers are basically just higher. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And they seem to be more acceptant, uh, acceptable to bolder tastes. Uh, yes, yes, to yes, Malaysia. yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's uh, a more mature, see, advanced market. You see bolder interior colors in, in Singapore because some uh, somebody, a BMW product planner once told me, right, the, you know, the in white interiors, beige interiors, right, fly a lot easily in Singapore compared to Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. They have much higher acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Data tells me that... Uh, ten percent of uh, Singaporeans own a, a vehicle. Apparently, there's what they call uh, there is five hundred thirty-two thousand private cars in Singapore in 2021, uh, for a population yeah. of five point eight six million. So yeah, ten percent of all Singaporeans uh, own oh, a car. That's very low. Mm. That's very one low compared to Malaysia. Malaysia is one of the highest, you know. Really? One of oh. the if you look at per per family uh, uh, capita, Malaysia is mm. one of the highest in the world. Mm. Mm. So very high, yeah. Wagons. Okay. Yep. This question must must bring I think uh HP in the question lah. So, he's a ES owner. Do you think the CLA for the S is too far for me in terms of handling? Does it lurch into traffic? Uh, something different but comfortable, uh, but very slow Whoa. compared to the slow. ES, Can't right? get any more mm. different than a CLA forty five from a Lexus ES. Yeah. No, okay. maybe, maybe last uh -huh. week I last week I drove a CLA forty five. Yeah, and uh, I was reminded that the first gen, like, like, wow, the sound it makes, the how it moves, how it downshifts, yes. you know. Oh my god, really aggressive car, man. <laughs> but, it is, but, it is. but to be honest, the way Mercedes improved the new CLA, right, it makes it mm -hmm. daily drivable already. Yes, compared you're right, to the, Bobby. Previous CLS, the previous CLA, CLA is absolute crap shit way, the way it yeah. rides, mm -hmm. but. Okay, the previous CLA is crap shit. CLA 45, it uh, justifies it because because you're buying a 45. Riding like that is, is perfectly okay. But the new CLA is is comfortable. Yeah. It's, it's totally usable. So so as from ES, yeah, uh, getting into a CLA 45 S will, will make you feel very excited every day, you know? Yeah. It's like... It's like... <laughs> sorry, I need to... I'm about to say some, something rude that I decided not to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like every day you run around versus, versus, <laughs> so. But yeah. But, but again, I okay. think, I think, I think, um, Sherman, I think to answer your question, like even the first gen CLA 45, I know people say it's rough and not as refined, or whatever, but if you drive it like normal and and, and not pushing the car, the car is adequate. La. I think it's way okay for you to drive, yeah. no issue, you know. Mm, uh, when you push mm. it and you like, like you wake up like wow, nice crazy, sound it makes like crazy crazy. Crazy. Yeah. but then when you drive it as normal, the car is totally fine to drive in normal like it doesn't lose the traffic. Uh the gearbox is fine, smooth, no issue. I find uh when you don't push it, like it's totally fine. You know? CLA Last 45S, uh, you can bully, you can bully Carreras, you can bully, you know, uh, 458s and all that. You can bully a lot of cars. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 So you, much. You know, there. last year or year before last, uh, we had, I, I had a chance to drive the CLA 45S, the new one, back yeah. to back with the A35. And, 
you know, I felt that the CLA is comfortable, the 45 is comfortable enough that it renders the 35 point quite pointless, actually. Price How much point? are the difference? Like 150k <laughs> difference, right? Yeah, about so, yeah. Or 100 over k difference, uh, yeah. yeah. Mercedes uh, will, will have a big price gap for sure. And so, yeah, I so do, I, the price I, I, gap would be A45, uh, A35 plus uh, uh Audema Piguet watch off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this? What what does you want to show us? It's CLA for an A in the number Greek. Oh my wow. god! Hey, Shit, but this is, is this is this is KL, uh. Yeah, that's yeah, it's a mad car. It's a, yeah, it's a mad it's a mad car. car. It's, it's it's so fast. It's crazy, man. Mm. Yeah, the Before Mercedes forty five are scary. Yeah. Scary. They 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 out outdo Audi. You know, both brands now outdo Audi yeah. in what Audi does best. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, Pelagi. Okay. How's Isaac here? Isaac asked a question. Driving the CC now, the Volkswagen CC, and Tiguan uh, one currently looking to go to Mini. It's always a good decision. Uh, how's yeah. the maintenance for the Mini Countryman and Mini Cooper? Something more uh, funky and uh, lifestyle oriented. No problem. I mean, dinners. Easy mm. maintenance, ah. no yeah. problem. Ah. I mean, this case yeah, will be more or less the same as Volkswagen. No, is is Volkswagen it's, going to mini? You may it may actually cost less. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Volkswagen, Volkswagen parts are not cheap, lah. Put it there. To me, like anybody who has a Volkswagen, ah, I always tell myself, ah, wow, the parts are the same as Audi prices. The same parts, you know. But they, they are see, the same thing, lah. They are the same thing. To me, like, to me, they are peers, ah. To me, Volkswagen and Audi, they are. Peers. They are Yes, uh, so but, 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 but the price point, what you buy an Audi for and what you buy a BW4 are way different. Then you but pay the same thing maintenance wise, uh, and you feel like a bit sakati. Yeah, la. CBU, you know? CKD, ma, no choice. La. The one CBU, you know? CKD. La. It's not, it's not yeah. that Audi is you know, that much better. It's, it's, I mean, as Malaysians, we have to understand as the whole la. CBU, CKD mm. thing. Or, I mean, you, mm. yeah, we can, you can never compare a CBU to CKD. La. Yeah, I cannot compare. Mm -hmm. uh, Nitish Nitish asked quite a few times when will the new facility uh, expander be in Malaysia? I don't know. So just uh, wait yeah. and see, you know. Uh, very soon, I think, because because obviously when the the the, the new Alza came, it would have affected the sales of expander, the sales of you know Avanza or whatnot. Like, all this would shook now and now. Expander is so, the best seller for Mitsubishi now. They are best, the best selling yeah. items they have. I mean, Mitsubishi. Alza arrived. Alza arrived. Sure, impact Expander sales big time one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially it's so high spec, and then uh, everybody loves the way it looks, you know. So yeah. So it's so affected one. So Mitsubishi must be planning something one. Mm -hmm. But I have no news. Yeah. No, 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 no info. Uh. So. Evo 10 for 170 or 216 wow. extra wow. Evo 10. I remember my Evo 10 came out. My my my, my client. What well, damn high price will it? Evo 10 how many years ago already? Yeah. Long mm. time ago. Hello? Yes. I'm here. Uh your your but you're very clear. You're very clear, Tana. We can see you well, just that. You look like yeah. you you have a matrix glitch. You have a glitch of yeah. the matrix. My, com my, my computer just uh, froze. I gotta restart now. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> but you're still here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, we restarted. Uh, okay, come. We are on our own now. Okay. And uh, oh, <laughs> Evo 10 170k. Uh. I mean, <laughs> which, yellow, which one you like, you go low. But. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Evo I think somehow has a stronger following, right? I don't know. And I think the way these things go, right? They just mm. somehow 170k for an Evo doesn't sound expensive. Fucker, <laughs> 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 yeah. Error four, four, not found. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the WRX is a modern car. It's more spacious, yeah. more comfortable, and all that. 
uh, yeah. So I is is I I have no In answer for this. Is the, 2016 is still the previous gen one, ma, right? No lah, the current already. Uh. No, the current already. They haven't they haven't been launching new ones. But you know the Evo won't budge. Uh. You buy 170k, you use five years, six years, right? You might be able to sell 200k. I That's the thing so with Evo. Definitely. You buy a modern WRX, right? It will depreciate following the, right. the, the normal depreciation curve. And then uh and because they will still be launching WRX, so so you you it will not have that resale uh yeah. as the Evo. Uh. The Evo very yeah. likely you buy high the DK you buy, you, you enjoy just to sell at more or less this price. Yeah. All yeah. right. Mm. Um uh, quick one, this one. Um the W206 C300 is very fancy, very tacky, and uh, drives a lot better already. And um, then the two, I mean, not a lot better, but the whole car feels quieter, plusher, and uh, yeah. more luxurious. And mm. um, you really feel like you bought. Uh, next generation car to be honest compared to the ah, yes, guys. Yes, if yes. you if you put these two cars right to someone who doesn't under slow cars well like they would have thought both cars are at least 10 years 15 years apart when you look at the interior and everything mm. yeah uh, they would have thought that you know so that's the plus point of the w206 c class uh. In fact, if you look at the W two O five C three hundred, right, same year with G twenty, same resale, same price resale. Yeah, exactly. Then you would have, a... that, that would have, yeah, that would have been a telltale sign that your W two O six value would be super strong. Okay, yeah. but it's also it's also a bit more expensive than the three thirty i as 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 far as I remember lah. Yes, so, it is. Yes. Uh, so are you someone who is aftering? a nice saturday gunting drive using your three series uh for if not i mean it's not that the, the c class cannot do what it does it will still do but if it's not just that then the c class gives you more in the sense that you are in something that feels like a spaceship you know it yeah it looks more expensive yeah. than what they charge you like yeah Hmm. Well, uh, I have to say, Mercedes, they really know how to present a cabin there. Yes, 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 yes. The yes. the three series uh, look so conventional in comparison. Mm. But that's the thing, BMW always have that. Oh, I'm a driver's car, I'm a driver's car, you know. Yeah. The dash have to angle towards the driver, blah, 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 you know, things like that. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but not not a fan of the three of the basic three series, you know the small Kupuchel gear not. Oh, and the long screen, right? So yeah. Hey guys, I'm fine with the long screen, but it's the the, the small gear knob that I look right. It's like wow, then Popong steam, and especially if it's yeah, right. on an M three forty i, right? You'd be like, yeah. do you want something more substantial? You know, as a driver's car. I I, I really think BMW needs a new head of designer. Uh. They really need someone mm -hmm. to come in and consolidate everything and provide them a proper direction to move. BMW mm -hmm. now is a bit everywhere, you know, like it's like mm -hmm. they, they it's like a headless chicken in terms of their design, running mm -hmm. around like a headless chicken. Yeah. You yeah. remember you, you remember recently we reviewed the X3 face of how they integrate the current aircon vents yeah, into yeah. the X3. It was like wow, a bit you jarring. Know, uh. Bobby, mm. when you see the EQS, yeah. uh, the EQS, uh, the that that whole display, the uh, EQS, yeah. that's yeah. the feature of Mercedes, uh, And I can understand, I can believe, yeah. I can appreciate. You see, um, yeah, you know, at, at least you see, you see the vision is there. BMW mm. has no vision. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah the right. Beware. Now, right, the new generation BMWs, right, same model lineup within the same current gen right? i think they have four four different infotainment you know like, oh cannot hear me uh? sorry i'm still here hello yes yes we hear you 
One, two, three, clap. Oh, fuck. Okay. Anna is frozen. Oh no, I, I sorry, I missed your clap just now. Con, I want to see how lag I am. One, okay. two, one, three, two, clap. clap. Okay, that's about about one second mm. later. I see your clap. Mm. So it's half second to and from I guess. Yeah la. Yeah. And Anna is frozen. Sorry, Singaporeans. We Malaysians are still struggling with broadband. <laughs> Basic broadband. Hey, okay. Yeah. This this one this guy was j just tried to flag me just now. So mm. claim that their Mazda claim their car don't need to change ATF and could last the lifetime of a car. Somehow I worry. I want to change ATF but afraid warranty void. Send help. For the record, I don't buy lifetime ATF thing claims yeah. by any manufacturer. However, uh, if you're buying a new car, no choice. You want your warranty. You follow mm. their advice. All right. Yeah. So anything wrong throughout that period, they 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 are responsible for it. Yeah. All right. Don't 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 touch if you want your warranty intact. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Then once the warranty is once once the warranty has ended the oil, mm -hmm. right? Uh. But I, yeah. You just yeah. Long. But Those well, I uh, also got. I also got this advice before, and if let's say like you you did not change your oil after like eighty or hundred thousand kilometers, right? Just just don't change it at all. You know, just drive it until mm -hmm. the gearbox condemn and change okay, or change the turn. gearbox and rebuild. Yeah. Uh, so sorry, con I my my connection down just now. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So yeah. No, sorry, I was saying what... if, if you are. If you're like after 80 or 100,000 kilometers and you have not changed the, the, the gearbox oil, then don't bother. Because mm. if you change it for the first time at say 150,000 kilometers, what will happen is that when you drain the oil, all the particles will sumbat the pathways and you accelerate your gearbox destruction. You either yeah, change it regularly so, early or don't at all. Or you do a proper one, or like a really mm. flush job, clear off all the mm. little stuffs, make sure, yes. I mean, no choice about it, no choice. But hundred k for a gearbox, for a modern gearbox, I think it's normal, lah. No problem, Yeah, it's still okay. Hundred is still okay. Hundred k, no problem, lah. But if you wanna change, you change, or or if you mm. go into Mazda service center, they they provide free service, right? You try, lah. You yeah. go in there, you say, I insist, I want you to change the gear oil, and then I'll pay for it. See yes. whether they, they they accept the job or not, lah. Mm. Right. Ah. All right. The, um, you go to the Burma's branches cannot one, but you can try a look at the at, at the service. Try and ask, uh, go to the dealer and ask uh, and say, I, I insist, mm -hmm. I want to pay. How much? Also, I paid. Mm -hmm. You know, then then yeah. Bye. Up to you. So Tana is having some connection problems. Ah, uh. sorry, guys. Oh, Tana is back. Uh, your filler say you look younger after you restart your computer. Yeah, more pixels that came back. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, Andy has a good good uh, addition to this. He said he went back to the dealer and insisted to change the ADF oil at his own expense. Yeah, this is something that you can try and do because for dealers, they won't reject business one, ma, right? Mm. So uh, you, you can try you can try doing that. Uh, thank you, Andy. Thank you for your input. Very good, very good yeah. uh, advice there. I'm just guessing just now based on my understanding of the inner workings of car makers, uh, yeah. there's a lot of new ways on, you know. So, yeah. Um, uh, what other questions do we have? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Golf R is more comfortable, you know, more. Like 45 is crazier, la, in a way. But the, but the 45 is way more. Different level uh, than uh, golf R. Uh, visceral. Yeah. Go yeah. Visceral. Yes, yes. So, okay. It brings you places. Yeah, yeah. Like, it brings you places, man. Tell you. It's it, like it, it makes you go crazy. It's like it's like, it's like you you you, you think Bobby, something I, when you go clubbing. Like 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 thanks thanks to you, I, I reviewed cars that are seven hundred k, eight hundred k, all these cars are reviewed, and the car that gives me the most amount of like wow factor, but yeah. I won't buy because it's not nice. I'm not for daily use. Was a GR Yaris. Like, that car really oh. caught. You know, and mm, it's yeah. only two hundred thousand ringgit, three hundred k, like full display. You know, so certain yeah. cars have the visual feeling. Uh, it's like 
shit. Money can buy lah. It's crazy. Yeah, there are just the kind of cars where it you ten years later you will not forget how it drives on. Yeah, these are the kind of cars that 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 imprints and a strong impression in you that is lasting. Yeah, and the Gia Yaris is one of it. Forty five is one of it. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Um. What have we covered? Have we covered? Um, Simply, uh, we see it. Uh, this one, he repeated his question. Is it worth buying a C43 Coupe under 300k? Uh, yeah, yeah, in a way, yes. Um, but if you can, if your budget can stretch to the facelift, do try and get the facelift because they updated the gearbox. It is now no longer a crazy, stupid gearbox. It is a usable gearbox after the facelift. All right, try and get a facelift. Okay. Have we uh, talked about uh, YW and his question about having his uh, soul stirred? Hello, buy lo, 200k. Uh, this? MX5. There's, 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 there's nothing. What, what, point. Yeah. what is a quarter life crisis? Maybe, maybe he's not fifty year old yet, but he felt his crisis coming already. Yeah, he wanted he's thirty. Maybe he's thirty. Yeah, maybe he's in his thirties. Then he wants something more exciting, uh, I guess. Mm. Um, yeah, well, there's there's no other this price point that available for loan. You know, you know. I got a, I got a, Bobby. I got a. Theory, yeah. People see car people and they say, Oh, you know what? I see so and so about this car. I want to buy a golf R. I want to buy a golf. And they, and they go for cars, you know? And the reality is, yeah. like, um, like I do a lot, lot, lot of cars, a lot of uh, genres, off road, mm. uh, UCV, stuff like you know? And each of my car genres stir my soul. Uh. Like, corn, for example, uh, your Eden mm. 9, so today mm. stirs your soul because why? What it gives you, the whole heft, how it drives, yeah, it stirs yeah. Your soul. Yeah. Or your ex drive it like wow, it's so nice because the kids are there and you go out and go yeah. places and do stuff, you know. So I think people who think about oh um what are the stir my soul, they always go for fast cars, um mm. supercars, whatever. But the reality is you gotta think mm. about what is your lifestyle, what are you actually doing? Are you gonna mm. meet people? Are you gonna do two gay drives weekend or your club? So try mm. the cars yeah. one like yeah. and... BRZ is the answer for all questions. <laughs> Actually, right. Uh, uh, hey, where's the where's the question? Uh? This guy, sorry, here. Uh, okay, mm. I just want to go back to the way he phrases this question. Okay, his budget is two hundred k. Um, the way you phrase it, should I get a basic modern sports car like an MX Five or something more classic? It seems to me that MX Five is something that he's that he's settling as what he perceives to be a sensible choice. He seems to be yeah. more to gravitate more towards a classic. So yeah. just bear in mind that if you're going for something more classic, um, well, you're not eligible for loan. Uh, you will have more up you, your your upfront costs will include a significantly larger chunk for 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 repairs and whatnot. But I would I would say work within your budget and get the what is closest to your dream. Sorry, I cannot process what am I looking at. A mini doing doing a burnout. What the hell? How <laughs> oh, the smoke still caught inside the car? <laughs> <laughs> I don't well, know, that's man. One way to stir your oh, soul, it's man. a burnout. Front wheel drive burnout. Ladies, oh. every shit, man. This lady. What the hell, we? Eh? Wow! Crazy stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah, a mini convertible is also something nice under two hundred k, and uh, it has a more exciting engine than an MX five. Uh, yes. Yes. It certainly looks more classic in a way. Uh, you can fit four person. Um, more luxurious interior, yeah. Something you can you can think of as well. Hmm. Um. I've picked all the questions already. Anything else you see? What we ask? 
uh, are you sure that smoke not coming out from the engine? Yeah, like we saw the last one when it came from the tires. Like, you know? No, she start the, 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 the burnout again. I might this one cash buy la cannot la, cash buy. So provided the guy is buying cash, then you can go for E ninety three M three. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, and that's a nice it. modern classic E ninety three M three. Yeah. Mm. I think uh, even like even a E ninety two uh T three five is also a good choice if you can. But that's half the price. Yeah. That can be a hat for half the price. Yeah. Mm. Question, Tana, what do you do for a living? Um, I, I I live my life to the fullest. <laughs> hey, that's your answer. That's why you pick the question. <laughs> oh, I, um, I, I, I don't have an answer. I live my life to the fullest. So, I have Tana um, answer. La. He's a CFO for a big company. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm, I'm in the yeah. finance. La. Uh, finance director for a big uh, multi company. Uh, uh, we have offices across the world, and uh, I do very. My job is to say do this and do that, like you know. And uh, on my free time, I do videos and uh, YouTube and help people out. Uh, yeah. You can inspire people to get in the car scene. Yeah. And uh, yeah. what are you showing, bro? I'm in a room to make them jolly roll out. Them <laughs> yeah, that's what Tana does during his. Uh... Office hours. No la, don't do that. No way. The the worst part was my yeah. my counterpart and my boss in Houston. They watch my channel, so they go like, "You're very free, yeah." Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you know, no, no. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And and. and and, uh, and hopefully it inspires you to go and uh, you know live your dream like you no know? if you think about my my uh, chapter with bobby uh, four years ago i met bobby four years ago three years ago i met bobby and then now mm -hmm. i'm i'm me helping out all the, all the stuff and uh, making more crazy decisions like on buying cars so, i mean yeah. <laughs> put it this way you know you know some big companies right the employees always wonder like hey middle of the afternoon why the cmo cto ceo CFO all playing golf one. Yeah. And uh Tana did not go play golf. Put it I don't play golf. I don't play golf. <laughs> yeah. home, I mean, I when, when you're high enough a ranking in corporate, right? You have a lot more free time than mm -hmm. the lower level staff stuff. Put it that put it that Right. And, and the reality is you work around the clock like now i have a call now at night at uh, 11 o'clock someone will call me up from the uk and i'll be talking to them about work like oh and that's the reality you work yeah. on the clock so yeah yeah all right and uh after like question wow sean happy birthday birthday sean yeah happy birthday to sean and if uh jerome is here his, his birthday is actually uh, so uh, mm. and on for hosting us while we're in Singapore uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah oh, this one is interesting. No, I saw this. I need to, I, I want to highlight this. Do Bobby own part of Evo Club Car Wash or Con is the only boss? So basically, Con is the only boss of his Evo Club Car Wash. So uh, me as, as Con's uh, brother or partner or whatnot, basically, we came up with this whereby uh cross the brand over for him to use on his car wash and uh con promised me sometime in the future he might give me some money but in no rush <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 that it promise is, is not right. forgotten <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. i mean yeah, is, so... is this kind of uh collaboration that that yeah yeah that is and, uh, possible to make something like that happen yeah, very grateful always love for the strong support I enjoy from the uh, uh, from the Evo community. Uh, yeah, so last the early earlier on this year, I have not been on many drives because I was so busy with setting up the business and all that. But yeah. now the the crew is able to run the show with or without me. So at, at the shop. So uh, now I'm I'm out more again. I use. Was able to make time to come down for southern siege really happy to see all, all the, our 
our friends from Johor, Singapore, or even those from Klang Valley who drove down. I was looking forward to see Tana there as well. I still have to return mm. your camera mount. It's okay, no problem. Ah, that day I had to pin jump the camera mount from Tana. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, something happened. Something happened that, that, that day, right? Go on. Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! You know that day I met Tana to uh to take the civic from him. Or was it to pass you the civic? Yeah. Oh no, to take the civic from hey. you, yeah. right? So he came and fetched me from my house, and then and then he drove me to to a location where I was supposed to drop me off to pick up his car, right? And while we were recording a video at the time, lah, okay. So I was like, my phone was 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 uh was a bit disturbing me. So I thought, okay, lah, I just slip the phone at the at the back, and I dropped it in my in what I thought was my backpack. <laughs> then it turned out to be there was Anna's backpack. When he got down from the car, he took my phone with him. And not only that, the car key was inside his pocket, you know. Uh. So I was, so I was, so as he, as as Tana walked away, I looked at the instrument cluster. Oh, shucks, key not in the car. Uh. Then I looked at look all over the car for my phone. Wanted to call Tana, couldn't call him. <laughs> so, so and now I so yeah, really sat there for him to come out from the park, multi-story parking, and then only handed me the car key and the. Yeah. Phone. So. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I have. Yeah, come on. Ah, uh, you know what's interesting? The used car value is almost the same, so there's no point mm. going for the one point six. Yeah, they are almost the same price in terms of used car value. So I don't see, I don't see a point. Uh. I don't see a point getting the one point six. Ah, uh, provided, yeah, uh, provided yeah. I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, always almost. go bigger engine you will never go wrong yeah 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 all right so go for the two liter two liter you get more specs and all that yeah, yeah. and uh Maggie asked for the call uh to have Kassilma and Tetari with us please come over on weekend drives uh go to ego club um let's sign up and uh yeah come and talk to us see us you know we yeah. uh, meet up we love meeting new friends, new people who join Evo Club. You know, uh, you can register yourself an account at club.evomalaysia.com. It's free. You can add the cars that you own just up. Uh, and then you can also take a picture of all your car maintenance receipt and add it in so that for your own self-reference next time. So it's something we do for car owners, uh, right? There's a question here. <clears throat> what do you mean by doing a point when asked about M5 E39 of F10? I mean, I didn't ask like he asked like, so I have to highlight the question. <laughs> Con, what does it mean, Con? Please explain what? to us. What does I it don't mean? Know. Who 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 answered this question in the first place? Yeah. La. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm not I'm not sure I was away when, when someone said this, like no. Uh, uh, but yeah, go after your dreams, whatever yeah. it is like. Yeah. Never stop, yeah. never stop dreaming. Okay. Um. Siapa lagi kita ada? Ionic is the Ionic. Ionic reliable and maintenance expensive. Looking something within sixty-five thousand dollars and uh, driving a Kia Rio. So many other options, like guess lah. The first thing comes to mind. Um, I mean, if you want something fuel efficient, means you want to save money, right? So if you want to save money, you buy a. Uh, hybrid car it's it's about it's about wasting your money now or later right because there will come a point whereby the, the value just 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 tank like that as the battery gets all right and uh you buy now at 65k right? these are from the first owner the first batch of owner they will put it at 65k after you buy it you register it right you try and bring the car to a dealer and see you want to sell it you see what car what kind of price they will, they will pick it in you know so it's um you have to understand that saving fuel, your, your, your notion of saving fuel is to save the world or to save your wallet. If it's to save your wallet, you go from a Kia Rio SX to a Ionic speaking. You are not, you're not changing segments, you know, the cars are more or less the same size. Of course, maybe the Ionic has a larger, less about it. 
So, so you might want to look harder. If you want something that can last you a longer time, long distance, 60 over 1,000, you can get a used Accord, you know. And yep. um, those cars have really strong resale from here onwards. And they're more spacious. And uh, they're also very fuel efficient. And you don't have that sudden dip in resale. You just have a very linear depreciation further down. So that might be a better choice for you. And long distance in the D segment, even though the Ionic is very well built, it rides like a D segment, but it's not D segment size. Uh, the rear seats I sit in, I my head lodge on the roof. So, so if you come from a Viva Saga basic motoring, you ask me an Ionic, I say go ahead. You know, we come from a Kia Rio. Yeah, the engine is not not powerful at all. You know, one point four. Um, but it's also a BC segment kind of car. Yeah. So, so say take your budget and get something like a used B segment. Then, yeah. then you feel like you upgraded. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's more spacious, more usable. You can own it for a much longer period of time, and that saves and, you money in return as well. And the Japanese D segments, right, are quite fuel efficient as well. They are not gasless. Yeah, uh, and a two point oh with a five speed auto, right? You can pull 110, 120 kilometers per hour with very low revs. So this is fuel saving as well. Yeah. Mm. See, I'm Do seeing a uh, Accord 2014, about mm. 60 plus K, around the same yeah. price as your Ionic. Uh, very nice cars. These are very nice cars. You know, they look good. They're spacious. Uh, they're well oh, built. This Accord, uh, you still look mm. the part as a uh, as uh, exactly. You still it look, still look like a year 2020 car. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, something like this. Uh, then you feel like you really upgraded and, and it's 60 plus thousand. Same like your Ionic. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can go for the two liter. The two liter is very fuel efficient and Honda tuned the gearing wells so that it does not feel under power. Yeah. Mm. Hello, Thomas. Hi Thomas. Hi, Thomas. We miss you, Thomas. We miss you. I'm in Greece now. Five o'clock. Yeah. No, five p.m. Yeah. Or oh, five p.m. Uh. Thomas, tell us you can join us. With, say a link, Thomas. You can join us. Serious. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, yeah. come join just in time for dude. Where's my car? Yeah. Uh, CXA Turbo, no problem. Uh, Masa has been using this Turbo mm -hmm. for I think two years or three years. Don't hear any issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've got a chat going on on the side there among the group members. You're talking about the A45, like the Tapao, and uh, yeah. Q, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people buying the 45s, the first gen, and the, without a good tuning, the car is a bit crappy. In the, so, um, yeah. yeah, find a good tuner for your car, like, a good bike. Uh, I cannot yeah. brain people who tune A45 uh, because it's already so rapid. It's already no, so but tuning, fast. But the tuning is more to make it more smoother, Bobby. Like, like what bike uh, does, uh, you know, the car's too, too, too jarring, it makes the car smoother. So that's the, okay. that's the funny thing, yeah. Cannot, so Thomas say, say, yeah. Okay, drive safe, Thomas. Drive safe. Sparta to Athens. Yeah. Sparta attack attack Athens right last time. Yeah. Yeah. Sparta. The Peloponnesian War. Pelop Peloponnesian War. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, okay. What else? I don't think we have to use West by car this no, week. I don't think so. No. Is there a good because, second hand? Sorry, this for I was saying yeah, yeah, yeah. No, is there any good second hand fuel conversion car city? Uh, so looking at buying an E39 uh, earlier. Um, well, he I, actually has an E39 from his earlier one. He drives a 523. 
So E39 is very fuel efficient on the highways, but when you have stop go traffic, the, the, the consumption shoots up because I suspect uh, BMW tunes the engine to run rich on on uh, on idle and on stop go, so it keeps the the engine cool. It preserves the engine's lifespan. Uh, that's why on highway traffic, right? If you drive it within without stressing the engine, you can easily get single digit fuel consumption figures. But hey, on, Connor, downing, on yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Down, on hey, on, on fuel consumption, right? Yesterday, I drove back from Singapore, right? To, to to KL, ah. uh, you know what's amazing? Um, what? my it was a it was a rainy day. It was yeah. it, the rain was crazy, and it took me like close to eight hours yeah. to reach back to to KL yeah. because I I went in every alternate rest house. I was mm. so tired. Mm. I'm driving alone in my Aston. I was so tired, and I went in every alternate rest house to to rest for like mm. ten minutes. Mm. Then I reached home right. I, I use about fifty two three liter of fuel. That's not bad. Yeah, for a six liter. That is not bad. Yeah. That is not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, fuel consumption. I mean, mm. second hand good fuel efficient car. Well, it's mm. too. Well, it's so Miami broad. Low, I guess. There's so many out there. Yeah, my. It's small. It has, has, has to be a small car. Smaller the car is, yeah. the more fuel mm. is like. So mm. there you go. Hmm. Apa lagi? Uh, this one, I think, I think no issue. You can, you can go and just buy the Countryman and use it. It's, it's, it's not, it's not crazy. I mean, mini maintenance is normal. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and buy it. Not, 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 if they are reliable, there's no surprising stuff, nothing on this. Yeah, consider low maintenance. Mm. Twenty sixteen XC ninety now, Bobby. Uh, these cars are just coming out of warrant. These cars just came out of warranty. Yeah, they're out of warranty and uh, um, somehow, or they are components, right? They are hybrid components, right? Somehow, uh, pretty lasting, but mm -hmm. but as as affordable as they are now, I think they should be around the hundred seventy k, hundred eighty k around that range. Very, it's them worth buying. Because of what you are getting, you know, a very powerful, reliable engine, reliable gearbox, uh, really nice interior, blah, 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 and all that. But you know, mm. la, it's out of warranty. It's a plug-in hybrid. And mm. if something goes, something goes easily, you will, you will need to spend 20, 30K. It's, 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 it's expected. So you just have to remember at the, at the back of your head, you know, make sure you have access to... 30 40k funds all the time and just enjoy your car like uh earlier on the guy who who asked the question adrian schmitter he has the first batch of vaccine MP. he used the car until like what 250 000 km or 270 280 000 km this car got no issue all right so oh i'm right 160k plus 170k like that yeah Mm, it's them worth buying. Good value. So just make sure you have the funds ready that whenever those components go, you buy, then it's a new one. Then it's okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Oh, Anthony Montano. No, oh, sorry. He added this. The battery warranty lasts until 2024. But that's the that's the thing with hybrid cars and, and car makers. Uh. I tell you, uh, they, 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 they say the battery warranty is eight years. But the problem with plug-in hybrids, right, is most of the time it's not the battery, it's the power units. It's the yep. it's the electric power units. And they didn't they didn't tell people those power units are not included in the eight year warranty. I mean your battery, mm -hmm. the whole thing, right, won't just fail like that. They deteriorate, but they won't mm -hmm. just like the whole battery fail. Correct. Ah, but it's the power units. Those things goes, they go. 
So I'll give you a song like you know, yeah. 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 Out of the three hundred Optical in my Audi Asus Group, a uh, hybrid battery, yeah, uh, hybrid battery, sir. Zero mm. percent people yeah. use the battery. Mm. The one that changed the two people mm. because of an accident, mm. a flood, mm. or something happened, like like, like yeah. an damage, like no. Yeah. Battery never fails. You know, yeah. it just loses capacity, but that's what it never fails. So, yeah. It's always the the other components, right? Main thing was the inverter. The inverter is the biggest thing that fails like, because mm. our heat, our battery gets hot. And um, if, if you look at uh, all the hybrid cars, um, because the design of the cluster in, the, in this cars, they don't have a temperature meter for the engine uh, mm. and no temperature meter for even the coolant temperature. They don't have anymore. And it's an error they, uh. they, show, they show, you know. So not having these two things on a, on a modern day dash, dashboard uh, significantly hampers you to monitor the car because pressure go, the temperature goes up and down and you see you get scared and they have removed that from modern cars. And that is the main reason why I think people can't see the problem happening before it happens, I know. Yeah. In my opinion. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, Tana, just now you wanted to highlight something? Um, one, right. Oh yeah, this guy. I think the concept is if you want a German car, would you get a Japanese car for everyday use to avoid tension or stick with German for a symbol status? I don't see German cars as symbol status. I see no. all the German cars, Japanese cars, uh, even a Mazda is all all a party pass, all are equal standing line. Huh? Exactly. Um, exactly. I think we are no longer there, we're no longer in that old mindset. Huh? Sorry, yeah. Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. So uh it's if, if 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 you are asking these questions that means you want to save money right so if you want to save money you can buy another car you're wasting money right? yes or another car's depreciation initial outlay cost all that would definitely be more than the cost of maintenance of a, of a german car so mm. the german car isn't that unreliable until you yeah. need a car i don't think this is a good strategy it's, uh, yeah it's, it's, and, it's always, yeah always and cars are actually deteriorate due to under usage also remember that yeah. Yeah. yeah do remember this in europe whatever german cars that you fear they are taxis over there they rack up <laughs> five hundred thousand mileage six hundred thousand mileage seven hundred thousand mileage it's normal all right uh okay i want to answer this one this is it's not answer uh, you know uh do you guys think we move from engine capacity based road tax to something else i've said this uh quite a few years already i think road tax should be based on the insured value of the car correct the reason for tax, the reason for tax to exist is to take money from people who have higher income to the government that's it and then they come up with excuses they come up with all kinds of excuses to make it seem like it's a fair thing they will tell you environment la fuel consumption now all this nonsense or weights of the car at the end of the day they are just trying to create a system that looks fair but actually they want to tax the higher income people to 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 off to to help offset the cost of governance for total population so in that sense right last time they based on capacity and then they say it's for environment but they that's because at the back of their head they know that richer people wants bigger engines because they go faster but this is already completely irrelevant in the turbocharged era where you right. have 1.5 1.5 mercedes paying lower paying lower road tax than a two liter Mazda. Whereas the, the person who is who has more disposable income is actually the Mercedes owner. And it becomes even more ridiculous in the EV cars that we have now in Malaysia. That tells me how stupid our government is. Uh. Oh, EV, oh, no capacity. Oh, okay, free, uh, free, free. It's like, and then earlier on, they, they charge by kilowatt. And then ends up someone buying a 170k mini EV having to pay like 3k road tax or 4k road tax is, is stupid. So I always say that it's, it's, it's based on insured value, then you have a very fair system because... It's fair. Uh, it is very, yeah, very fair. Yeah. Someone who who bought uh, E39 back in year 2003, right? 100k for the car. 
he is a high income individual he deserves to be taxed road tax in that way but he continues to use the car until now he is in his uh, 58 year old or 62 year old he already retired he don't have that high uh, uh, disposable income you still tax him the same way it's not fair right but if you tax him based on the insured value which is his market value for his car then it's fair right then 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 it's a but it's, it's a better parity but of course i know when this comes in a lot of people who, who buy like my bees axia you will scream you say that, hey this car only one liter you will suggest one percent of uh insured value i insure my car forty forty thousand. i need to pay 400 you get no tax on right but that's the, the give and take because that also means that you can buy some other higher displacement car and enjoy that car without paying that high a road tax. Uh. So that's my suggestion. I haven't I haven't seen a better one. You know? Actually, I agree with you. And uh, the thing is this, uh, it's you, you think about it, right? Even this is something that you can nobody can cheat the system with one. If you are yeah. driving a 200k car worth, you will not cheat road tax. You, you know, just so that you, uh, you know, you will not cheat the road tax because to pay 150,000 to insure your car 150,000 because what happens if something? What no, if something happens? You can't. You can't. I mean, the, the reality yeah. is, these kind of cars, if it's an expensive car, they are insured by the the, the companies. They All won't right. allow you yeah. allow it to happen. You know, mm. another thing I want to tell you yeah. is like. Tax in principle is a way of um, taking. It, it's it's a wealth thing. It's about wealth. All the loopholes we yep. see, GST, VAT, all this is to counteract the loopholes. Oh, people can't loophole is there. Uh, why why is it mm. uh, tax and you know, all this are the loopholes? So yeah, it's money, like, You know, simple as that. It's, just, it's, it's based on value yeah. of. of you know, and that's why in Europe, you see, everything is GST, SST, VAT, everything you buy, grocery, everything. Like, so they know is on consumption. You consume more dollar, pay more dollar. Simple as mm. that. Um, mm. And, and uh, we are no, no, nowhere there. Like, so, yeah. Tana, Tana, mm. do you think something like this will work uh, if, if the whole country has no income tax, mm. totally no income tax, yeah. but every single transaction that goes through the banks all right the yeah, government works. takes zero zero point one it or works. zero point two percent it work it work it work i mean i would say that if you have there's no income tax it's the thing is uh, income tax is stupid again uh, i'm a tax guy uh. mm. income tax is mm. stupid because of this uh. mm. and i do tax for the rich uh, my, my previous life mm. like my partial okay none of the rich people i know uh, pay taxes none yeah. of them Mm -hmm. All of them pay. Uh, they say, uh, they come and tell me, Tana, uh, next year I want to buy a Mercedes. Uh, how much will declare mm -hmm. my income? Uh? Not to say, yeah. my companies. they declare the income of what car they're going to buy next year or they're going to buy a house next year. So the companies will pay them the salary. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. So the reality is, the one they're paying taxes now are the ones that are forced to pay. And who's forced to pay? The income earners, the employment income earners. Mm -hmm. Not the ones who, who are really struggling, the employment income earners. So it's a very unfair system in Malaysia whereby um, the one that is the hurting the most employment income are the one paying the most taxes. It's totally yeah. unfair. I, you know? I, 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 I read something uh, from Robert Kiyosaki. He said he has zero money in his bank. Yep. He has zero income. So he don't need to pay taxes. Yep. All his money, he buys shares. Hmm. And then from the income of those companies, either he buy a, 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 a property, rent it out, or basically he buy a lot of shares and then he use the share as collateral to take debt from banks. Hmm. And the debt is his money to use. Hmm. That I mean, is his that, income. That, that, is, that is overseas will be. In Malaysia, even better. Yeah. In Malaysia, all capital gains tax from uh, shares isn't taxable. Hmm. It's just even better. Yeah. When you tell it to someone in Australia, yeah. when you buy in mm. Malaysia, don't get taxed. They're like, are you serious, sir? Mm. So you, you you take all your your every income you go and buy share, right? And then and then he take a loan you against the shares. Yeah. yeah. He take a loan so, so, against the share yeah, we, we, and use the loan to Malaysia buy property. You don't need to pay tax. 
Yeah, Malaysia is very mm. archaic in our tax laws, you know, and the only country in the world that I know of, I think, uh, that uh, maybe it's more uh, that the individual tax is higher than company tax. What stupidity is this we're living in? You pay more yeah. tax as an individual in the high gun bracket opposed to having a company. <laughs> and so and it's worse for it's worse for people like myself or con, you know. We run our little small business, right? Our business pay tax. Because when we run our own business, right, it's like left pocket, right pocket nah, for us nah, in our in our mm. in our perspective. Nah. So our company pay tax. After that, ourselves we pay again. No, 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 wrong, wrong, but when the company when the company pays taxes, they declare mm. you as an expense. So every dollar they're paying you, they're also paying less taxes also. So in that fact, actually, it's not the case, lah. You know. Uh, no, yeah, on paper strong. for you, yes. On paper for you, yes. But for us, right, the same cash flow for us. No, you understand? No, no? you can't. You can't be taxed twice. You either pay tax the company profit. All the profit goes to you as individual as income owner. That's not fair. It's worse for me because why? For me, I'm employment income. I can't declare anything. I can't. If my income is there. I must pay my taxes. Nowhere to hide. No, no, Tana, you see, uh, our company, we, we run our business, right? And then when it comes to, to April, oh, let's say we need to pay like 60K, 80K, okay? Then mm -hmm. we pay. Uh, after we pay our own salary every month, yeah, we still gonna. No, so from, yeah. from, from cash flow clash cash flow wise, right? We we, we are like, hey, what the hell way? Mm. You know? It, and then when it comes to money. loan, when it comes to loan eligibility, they only look at one. Yeah. You need to hire yeah. accountant. Can I hire you? <laughs> can, yeah, can, can we hire you? Yeah, yeah. you should. I have seen the way uh, because some of the are working. <laughs> Probably. Uh, uh okay. Way no, back to uh, no. No. <laughs> no, the Ativa doesn't look like a Mini Cooper. No, no. That, no. that, 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 day, that day I saw no. a meme. They one, tried. Guy, one, one, one guy in the Ativa group said, Wow, my Ativa, Bobby, no joke. Huh? Wow, my Ativa from far away huh? looks yeah. like Palisa. Oh, I saw that oh, post. That, I was like, Oh my, uh, the color is purple color, yes, la, but oh my God. Guys. Fly and love for your cars. Yeah. Uh, 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 Kazutoshi said GST was a good tax. I I I I, I, nah, I, I, I don't agree in the sense that how it was implemented. I don't agree. Uh, because yeah. the way it's implemented last time, right? You issue an invoice and you get tax already, the GST. And the, mm. and, and if the fucker don't pay me, I'm fucked. I already paid the tax. You know, let's say I sign a contract with a client. Let's say I sign a 200k contract with a client. Within that, yeah. within that, 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 that quarter, right, I have to pay the tax for that quarter. Even though my job hasn't started, I haven't received my payment. And it, it, if, if it becomes a bad debt, right, I need to hire a, a, right. a, hire a lawyer to sue that person to prove that it's a bad debt. Then only I can claim back my GST. It's stupid. Right. Correct. It is Correct. absolute stupid. I think the best tax is consumption tax. Basically, mm. VAT tax. Whatever that is already taxed, sure. then then it's fair. Because yeah. it's not through your earning or your contract or whatever, it's through your spending. You know, you spend, you pay, you spend, you pay. Yeah. So VAT is a kind of tax whereby rich people will have more money to buy things. So they cannot run away because when they buy the thing, the VAT tax already applied. Yep. And also, and also if you, you, you if the system was robust enough, you can use those tax as your input tax when you produce your services and you can claim, claim back, like you know. So yeah. it's it's uh yeah, our, our taxes are very archaic, like, you know. Sorry, sorry to say it only benefits the rich who can who can afford uh people like me to, to uh consult for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I cannot afford a tax agent. Actually, how much to uh, hire a tax agent? Uh? Uh, I mean, the, the the I mean, you you should already have an agent la, by now la. Oh. Uh, Okay, they already charge you money. I I, I don't um, have I don't have you help me uh, in, uh, can, la. You can sit I'm on stupid the, in this. The, the 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 problem is like in Malaysia, people mm. uh, that they are the agents which pay on. Okay la, I have it file a tax law. 
So when they first text Bobby, they do the basic requirements uh, for them is safe. They won't get in trouble. And they say, I'm done, pay my thousand plus, I'm, I'm done with. And the other guy who said, uh, I don't do this. I don't know, I want to get the other guy who said, I don't charge you. On... Yeah, you know, that one is basically for me. Yeah. Uh, the job to fill out, fill out form, fill out form to say what is the mm. amount of uh, copy your taxes and submit only just to do the administrative work. Uh. But mm. a true agent must come to you and say, Okay, what is your business? What's your direction? What's your strategy like? How are we going to save money up? What, how do you pay your? But every year to your to your shareholders your dividends yeah. how we go yeah. to structure your, the whole thing is happened and that is consulting mm. in malaysia we are too mm. cheap to pay for consultants to come to you and advise you in a holistic manner that's the reality of Malaysia. The, well the idea if there if a tax agent charges you one to two thousand per year the idea is that they will save you more than that amount of money in overall no no con that one to two k i told earlier is only to fill the form up and submit is the administrative mm. part, not the strategy part. Understand? Understand, understand, understand. Uh, it's, like, it's like, for example, uh, when you ask, go and see your FA, uh, financial planner, hey, mm. I want to look at my future. They said, mm, buy insurance. That isn't planning for <laughs> planning, correct? Yeah. Idea mm. of it's about thinking, okay, this is my wealth, how much I earn, where I put my, where my thing, how do I plan? That thing in Malaysia doesn't exist. It's a fact that people are selling products to you, you know? But, so yeah. how? You need to be uh learn you got to go and learn yourself what to do and think about what what's your strategy to oh. say for yeah that's the unfortunate thing in malaysia like no yeah man yeah man anyway come back to car stories <laughs> mm. 3.6 or 3. Point diesel why are porsche cayenne's uh, uh cayenne's and panama diesel 3.0 cost more than the petrol 3.6 k top spec though because they are fast yeah yeah. They're also a top spec, isn't it? Yeah, the, the uh, diesel is higher spec. Sure. Not top spec yeah. per se, but the diesel is higher spec. It's a higher spec than the uh, petrol. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I saw this. It's like any other cars at 150k that is reliable. Every car that is, I don't know how to answer this. It's like I can tell you a car that's 30k and liable. How's that? So <laughs> no, can I or or can I say uh a three series is easier to maintain than a Mark X? I don't know. What why is I, a Mark X I, not unreliable? I would it's not be. it's not unreliable. You you just you, you everything you need to find, right? It's it's, yeah. it's, it's not that it's not reliable, it's that it's not officially available here. There are so yeah. few around. True. Yeah, it's it's not like it's you know you know German cars right? You you have apps or you have websites. You go there, pick your model, pick your year, pick what you want. Credit card swipe, boom, the parts will arrive. You know, mm, uh, mm, mm. so the, basically the availability of everything lah, and and you know, so so I I I have a I have a Recon JDM Toyota. Uh, mm. they don't go wrong, per se. I mean, the engine runs, the gearbox runs, but same goes with German cars, right? The engine runs, the gearbox runs, right? And uh, when it comes to finding stuff, I'll, I'll, I'll give an example. My uh, one fine morning, uh, our our keyless, the keyless uh, doesn't work, all right? To start the car, the keyless doesn't work. And to troubleshoot that problem, right? You need to find out which thing is wrong that result in this because from the sensor to your key to the immobilizer to the steering lock is multiple components and they are all linked and in solving that problem right it took us six months because the workshop need to go and find a used part that works and swap it in and then test and then it's not this component and then go around chop shop find another one finally found it fit it in and then test again that's the thing they have to test one by one one by one and and it takes such a long time just to solve it because of rarity right uh one one tail lamp or no more and then you want to order or oh, the price is seven k what the hell and then you have to find Taobao, find china oem or aftermarket you know 
So it's not as simple as just looking at the brand, oh, Toyota, oh, reliable, you know. It's, it's, it's not exactly like that. I know there are shared engines and relaxers and all that, so technically okay. But if you if you just want want to run the car to its death, then the Max is is a better choice. Ah, it will die later. Ah, right. <laughs> but, but but yeah. So, uh, Mark S is reliable. Yes, reliable for support. sure. Reliable. Yeah, it's sure. just that it's just that. In the upkeep of a car, right? Reliability is not the only thing, you know. Yeah. Well, the, the wear and tear, things that you need, you need to change, you know. Uh, you cannot stone your your sarong broke, and then you need to order, you know. So yeah, it's, 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 HP, the time prestige. Have you saw site near the story how? <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm. It also takes some time, and then it's the wrong side mirror, and then one one mm. big one small, you know, things mm. like that, lah. So so, uh, it's. Perfectly okay as a as a as a as a nice luxurious rear wheel drive uh premium car hundred fifty thousand is perfectly all right you can you can go ahead buy it yeah. buy it uh I don't know how to put this lah it's okay lah okay. don't buy lah mm. <laughs> okay um let's see I'm wondering let's see. which car that's my Toyota Crown I have a Toyota Crown. So it's very similar to the Mark X rear wheel drive, you know, uh, six cylinder. Yeah, it's a Toyota Crown. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel no, lost. Like, Texas. No lah. I I, <laughs> I used to have a firm before in my in my younger days. I had my not younger days like earlier. Tana, Tana do this to escape from his day job. You ask him to go back to his day job. Exactly, right? <laughs> I repair on cars because it's easier. <laughs> you know, I repair cars is easier than trying out with all the strategy from at work and stuff. So yeah, Ooh. this is my fun time. Uh not going to ask it liable to switch. Okay. So guys, any questions you have, please uh indicate them if we missed you, then we can probably yeah. I'll do that for you. Uh, which Italian car would you uh, would would you wouldn't you have? Uh, would you have um, what car you like to have? Like, yes, like Ferrari, Lamborghini, or Alfa Romeo? Well, Alfa Romeo and Ferrari put the same standards. How to take uh, Alfa? Yeah, uh, I think every car guy's dream is to own a Ferrari, right? Ultimate. Yeah. 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 You put it three way like this. It's a Ferrari. Yeah, like Brandon here, you know, Ferrari owner. <laughs> <laughs> he sure knows his tax. <laughs> Bobby, stick to car talk. <laughs> Congrats. Uh, wow, man. It has one on sale three. now. Go, go, go. Bye, bye, guys. There's one, there's one, there's bye, one, one, three, five for sale. Let's go, daddy. Yeah. No, he, uh, he, he studies in Scotland. So hmm. he's thinking about buying it. He's thinking about buying it in, in Scotland. So, yeah, man, by all means, I know 140i. But then you mentioned that above has the, the rack top, la, you know, which is quite nice. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, more Scottish. Okay. Uh, this is a right. question about you know, Evo Club Singapore. So, he asked Bobby if uh, Charity Coupe was a good beginner car, and he bought a 30 year old AE. 101 uh and uh can you join evo club for singapore answers yes probably evo club. Uh, the evo club singapore just created uh recently and uh we have we have let me see how many people there now oh we have 50 people there now uh evo club sg so if you come to facebook our Facebook, Horizons Facebook, and PM us, then give us your mobile number, then we'll add you in. All right. But but you also have to go go club.evomalaysia.com and register. You register yourself. We have enabled uh Singapore mobile number to receive the OTP to register. Mm -hmm. Next step would be allowing Thai numbers because uh, I remember someone PM me the other day. Hey, I'm in Thailand, you know, can I register? You know. So that would be the next step. Okay. 
All right. Uh, we can week, go trip Sorry. Oh, what's that? No, I'm just saying that this week we don't have... Uh, what's that? Dude, where's my car? All right. And then uh, yeah. after this, we're going to... Yeah, come, like. So we can go trip Uh Thinking about E for this coupe. Oh, very nice. Um, which is about 40 to 50,000 ringgit. Or E92, 50 to 70,000 ringgit. Which is a better buy. So basically... Uh, a coupe from the E for this era or from the E and E eras, which would you buy? It's a matter of preference, law. Mm. It's for the two of you to answer. I I like I like how the E for this is light enough mm. and drives highway speeds very well. Uh, stiffer chassis on the E thirty six. Um, it's very refined. Um, the E ninety on the correct engine, like a T three five, is very nice. The power, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, it's like you know, you've gone through a modern era with, with turbo technology, like, you know, in the E90. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just way different drives, like, you know, that the, the E92 on a, on a nice turbo engine feels very modern. Like, if the car was sold today in this era, I think it's still a modern car to get. You know? Yeah, that, that's how yeah. I look at the E92. Right. Whichever, whichever it is, like E46 or E92, both. A uh, hunt for a six-cylinder model. Alex, mm. Alex Wong said the, he, he really loves the E46 era because it is mm. still small. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the E90 has grown. You know, he said that yeah. the E46 is akin to the Porsche 997. You know, still ah, analog, yes. hydraulic steering, and the car is small and compact and lightweight, easy to drive, mm. modern enough. And then the E92 is like a whole new generation. The car is bigger, heavier, more luxurious, mm. and all that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's, like, so, it's like me asking about the uh, 36 and the 46 were corner. And compare the, those two models, uh, I find the 36 is not as stiff as the 46 chassis, which is mm. a bad thing. But the 36, uh, it, you almost feel like, wow, this one is uh, a bit. Risky. We have the old excitement. The, the, it just feels a bit naughty on the 36. Yeah. And the four yeah. feels just very refined, you know. So mm, yeah. yeah, it's it's a what do you, what do you want to get like at the end of the day, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it's what it's what your preference is. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's okay. going. He's looking at a 2.5 NA only. So if you're mm. looking at 2.5 NA, then maybe the E46 gives you a better better power to weight ratio. But will the E90 generation be more reliable? Uh, yeah, I would, I would think so. I would think right. so. Yeah. Wow, E46 that's small. One three five high size. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, last few questions. I mean, at least for me, uh, I'm totally exhausted. Uh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yesterday I come back, I didn't, I didn't sleep. Uh, Douglas. Just get the jazz, you know. I mean, if, if you are just if you just graduated uh what first year of planning for the Alza in the future, why why what does the Alza have anything to do with you? You know, go and aim for something else, uh, right? you buy a jazz now, okay, use, but don't uh, why 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 he's planning for a family. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why? Ah, yo, uh, 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 jazz is is still a legit family car until your first baby. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. Don't 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 put an Elsa as your aim. Mm. Uh, uh, how do you guys fix cabin rattling noise for my ten year old Kia Forte? Uh, you you can you can go KL Auto, look for Desmond. And mm -hmm. try and stuff as many stuff in your car, you know, soundproofing thing. You know, he will fix all this rattling stuff noise for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Then it will cost some money. So that's the thing, uh, with older cars, it's like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, Ah, it's a very easy go for it. Yeah, la. go for it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, 
I picked the M340i, but the S60 is is still a good choice. Yeah. Hmm. Sports shoe or dinner shoe. Yeah. Uh, okay, congrats. Right. Anything else? Tana? No, good. Oh, you know, we it? end the session okay. here, two yeah. hours, 40 yeah. minutes in. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm exhausted. Yesterday, I had an eight-hour drive back from Singapore, and then I slept at like 2 a.m., and then uh, woke up at 5, you know, send the kids to school and all that. And uh, I'm crazy tired. Yeah, crazy tired. And over the past three days during Southern Siege, I barely had like three hours sleep. Wow. So thank you so much for coming. If you think this session helps you, uh, do share it out. Do recommend to people who want to buy cars. We are here to help people. And uh, yeah, all right. If we miss your question, do come back next week or you can DM us at Horizons Facebook. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Good night. Thank you, Tana. Thank you. See you all Saturday. Yeah. Right, yeah. See you all Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Bye. All right. Saturday Bye. morning drive. Yeah. Bye. Hard up. What's the EC maintenance? <laughs> what is EC maintenance? Corn. I put huh? everything. EC maintenance. Corn me. No need la, no need la. <laughs>